keeps a little dead meme. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Snark Tank Podcast. It's me, Chris Raygun, and I'm here with everybody that you expect to be here at this point. I'm here. Oh, yeah. Is your boy. Uh, Is your boy. <laughs> we're, What's popping? We're still... We're still uh, we're still social distancing mm-hmm. at the moment, so uh, bear with us as the world crumbles. Yeah. Uh, I figured we'll just jump into some shit right yes, off the let's bat. Do that. No reason to no reason to dwell on the the sadness. Absolutely. Because uh, every every <laughs> video I see now just starts off with a. You sure are some crazy times. Yeah, it's getting really uh, annoying. Being <laughs> and it's sad. like okay, well, so let's just uh, talk about some bullshit. Yeah. So I put up a. I put up a thread for every podcast that we do on the Patreon, patreon.com slash the snark tank, and uh, I think it's $5 patrons can ask questions. Uh, I didn't do that this week because we had one thread up for like two weeks, and there are still a lot of questions from that thread that are worth for going sure. into, so I figured figured we'd just jump into those. Oh, hell yeah. And uh, the first one, let's see, let's see, what do I want to, what do we want to start off know. with today? Um, let's see. Come on, guys. Stop, stop that. Stop smacking your <laughs> lips. <laughs> I'm not smacking my lips. This is all, this is all tongue work, bro. There's no lips involved. That's horrifying. Either way. It's all, it's all tongue work, bro. I can show you the work, Derek. I, I don't want to. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Double O Dolphin wrote in, and he says, why is Bethesda such a shit company, and why don't they let me play Doom? Excusing my what? Excusing my saltines. Because he's saltine. A real qu- what the fuck? I don't even know what the fuck you're trying to say here. A real question for you guys: If you had to be a leading, if you had to be the leading expert in one niche subject, what would it be? So, like, what is something that you know about, like, know a lot about, that is deeply unnecessary? Oh man, what do I know a lot about? Actually, um, you probably nothing. Uh, probably actually. <laughs> um, I'm really good at like mm. social interactions, so I could do like a study about that. No, you're. Th- are I'm you super joking? good when I'm not trying to be a fucking absolute monster. I'm really good at talking to people, and consoling people. You're a fucking. In fact, okay. I'm great at it. Consoling. Right. Yeah. Can mm. you imagine? Can you honestly, anybody? This is me. This is me. This is not. This is not. It's not Sweeney. This is me, the person. I can console people, but the whole thing is that you are arguably like, worse. Than your counter, than your uh, no, persona I'm is. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm really calm. I'm really nice, but just like, like you know, sometimes I just get fed up with all the people trying to be heroes, and I'm like, fuck it, I'm just gonna say something terrible. But I don't mean it. It's not me. It's not my heart. You know, <laughs> fucking sad bitch. You, you're always fuck, fuck you, Derek. Always, fuck you, Derek. You're such a. You're such an. What What are those anti-conformists or whatever? I'm what, not an anti-conformist. I'm not edgy. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know, man. Even uh, even even when you're just like playing Smash in your in your leisure, you're still just like fuck the world, you know. I'm they, not. They oh they <laughs> they're, they're gonna. You told me. You told me. You told me that you chant hate every night before you go yeah, to sleep. Yeah, but that's just to keep my off power. Camera. That's to keep my power strong. Like what? <laughs> Hatred gives you power and focus, bro. What do you mean? Don't don't fucking. Judge you're me. definitely well adjusted. <laughs> I, I feel like you'd. I don't know. Maybe like a Smash. A, you'd probably be like a Smash expert. Or something. No, nah, I wouldn't. I'm not good enough at Smash to be a Smash Brick. Really? Not good enough, nah. Oh, I, well. I, I, I can't, like, devote that much time. I think if I just devoted t- that much time to anything, like, if I just actually paid attention in school entirely, instead of, like, taking tests the last minute and getting, like, Bs, I could be really good at academics, but I just I haven't done that in years. I, I know far more about Halo than any person should who isn't, who doesn't have a job keeping track of that? There are some Halo channels that I know that are like, okay, well, that's your business. I make that makes sense, but for some reason, I I, I think I know too much. That's probably going to be, I could be a leading expert in that if if that's even a thing. <laughs> probably not a lore consultant. A leading expert in Halo. Lore consultant. I think Derek would be something. I don't even know. You'd be a pussy connoisseur. Uh, <laughs> you'd be like you'd be like really good at telling people like what kind of pussy is the best kind of pussy. I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh you know that's that is such a stupid thing to say but at the same time like i mean there's there's dudes out there that you know that slay and they probably have like 700 stds but i think for the amount of stuff that i've done you don't have that many stds i think <laughs> i think 
I have a good <laughs> curation. I think I could. I think I could give sound advice on what's the best pussy, and maybe possibly not sound really misogynist. Sound advice. I think. I think I could do that. <laughs> I think that's the key. That's the key is to not sound misogynistic. That's that's pretty hard when you're critiquing <laughs> pussy. When you when you when you're, crit- when you're actually just critiquing vagina, it's really really hard it's, to sound like a no, nice no, no, guy. No, no, no. Okay, well, hold on. Let's <laughs> think about this for like even just a modicum of a second. If okay. some woman was out there reviewing dick, I don't th- I don't know if people would be like that person hates men. You would argue that in fact probably the opposite. So like she loves men so much that she's willing to dedicate this amount of time and an entire career path to, dedicated to just seeking out the, the like the prime examples. You see, that's and no, giving I advice. That. But due to the political climate, you see, ah, yeah, I don't know. If I went around saying, "Hey, you know what's the best kind of pussy?" <laughs> <laughs> you'd probably you'd probably have to and be- then, and and I'd have and I'd have analytics too. I'd have like a little fucking like a spreadsheet a fucking graph <laughs> a drawn up PowerPoint. I'm like here you guys go. Here you guys go. No, not a PowerPoint. It's like a fucking. It's like an Excel program. Okay, I like it. I like it. I've heard some wild shit from people, like you know, just talking to dudes that you, you obviously they don't have any idea what they're talking about, but they genuinely believe that there's like a difference in taste based on ethnicity or something like that. And I'm like, are you fucking? Oh, I agree with that. What? What? I vastly agree you, with that. You're really what? stupid. No. I mean, there's definitely a there's, no. There's definitely a taste in flavors. Oh no! Uh, you've definitely you've you've never eaten some pussy that tastes like fucking bubble gum, and you're like, wow, what is no, wrong that's with you? Prob- wow, this probably is probably a disease. What the hell is that? <laughs> should it taste like? Well, that's a good gum. tasting disease, man. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> God damn it! It <laughs> shouldn't <laughs> taste like bubble gum at any point. Well, bubble gum tastes good. It, the Hubba Bubba Max kind, you know, the LeBron kind. that had the fucking the purple the purple inside with the pink this, outer side. This might be the quickest. We've ever descended this di- like I I'm I'm sorry if this is your first episode. <laughs> episode. I'm really Let's hope it's not your guys, first episode. Good guys, Lord. I'm sorry. We've answered the question. Is, We're just gonna move my on. My brain, my brain is not what it used to be anymore. I'm just angry. Oh my god, God help us all. Uh, Dangle Bl- God's on Dangle break. Blampy wrote in. He says, "Hello, Ronald Reagan. Don't call me that. Uh, Sweeney Tom Ooh. and African. Okay, I'll take that. Oh wow! Uh, oh wow! Shit! What? Just straight up. <laughs> <laughs> and African. I'm forty percent man Jesus. in the Cameroon region. Chill out, man. Calm down a little bit. All right. This question <laughs> is probably the most baffling thing I've ever read in my entire life. It is. It is the future, and you decided to get your eyes replaced with better ones. They offer to wake you up during the halfway after your eyes are taken out." And before your new ones are out, or, or, or what? Uh, before your new ones are in, so you can experience true blindness. You have a lot of anesthetics in you, so it won't hurt, and you can go back under to complete the surgery at any point. Do you decide to wake up during the halfway point so you can experience true blindness? No. I have never wanted. You know what true blindness is? When you're asleep and your eyes are closed. That's true blind. In a pitch black room, that there you go. You have it. Like I don't need to. Yeah, I, guess, I guess yeah. That's that's as close as you can get. I don't be like completely darkness. I have never once seen like somebody with like some horrible affliction and thought, man, I'm just so curious what it's like to be that person that I would actively seek out a way to experience it. I okay. Now this is gonna sound like me being a fucking maniac again. Wow, it's been I've it's always... been a minute probably <laughs> since you sounded like a maniac. So it's fine. Hey, I might be on board. What you got? I. I've always wondered what it was like to be like a dwarf. <laughs> oh, okay, no, I'm not on board. Never mind. Because this, because I'm pretty tall, but like I could imagine being really small. That might be like a whole other world of of adventure. Why would you want that? I'm just I don't want. It. I just wonder what it's like. I mean, you, you know? can suck dick while you're standing up. Big deal. Whatever. Like, like <laughs> what was the fucking deal? <laughs> That's that's the best. That is Derek's. That is Derek's optimal function at that height. Amen. That is what. The, that's the best thing you could do at that height. Not not explore. Not have a real amazing time on a jungle gym. Like a real great time. No, it's sucking dick while you're sucking dick while you're still standing. You can uh, you can go up on people's wives. I guess. Hey, you could. <laughs> I think you could really, you could really have an intense time at obstacle course. Oh yeah, like that might be like insane. It might be like fucking 
a triathlon for you. <laughs> Look, man. There, <laughs> I'm so remember, sorry for any of our viewers. Exactly. I'm so sorry for any of our viewers. Exactly. I'm so sorry for any of our viewers who are little people. No, that's no, exactly. It's fine. Like, that's we, really insensitive of me. I'm so no, sorry. This, but this, like, shit. This podcast it must is be like, an adventure. This podcast is like 66% little person or something. We got this. Oh, Can fuck. you imagine? It's like... Um, it's two thirds. What if that fucking comedian Derek oh and I are of a person? What if that Deca- of a person? Or oh yeah, like we are pretty <laughs> short. So it, I think I think we're okay. Yeah. We're okay. We can say that. We can say Derek's not really that like short. That. I am. Not uh, really. To the average person, like the average male height in uh, in uh, in the U.S. at least is like five ten, and I'm five six. Five ten so. is the average. I thought it was five eight or some shit. Damn. Nah, nah. It's 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 on a like oh you know because there's a lot of. You know, a lot of corn-fed fucking Midwestern people with just straight-up European fucking Viking blood, and they're tall as fuck. And there's a lot of them. Damn, that's so true. Then, but in my area, since I grew up around a bunch of fucking tiny Mexicans, uh, m- being around like 5'6 to 5'8 is totally fucking normal. Didn't notice anything. I didn't notice how short I was until... I was in uh, London. I was in the Heathrow Airport, and I met up with a bunch of people. Like, hey, um, I'm going to be at the airport with a three-hour layover. Like, let's meet up and get some drinks. And everyone, including the women, were all taller than me. I was like, what the fuck is happening? I, That's it, it insane, just, it was, dude. It was pretty weird. Trip me out, man. I was short when I was little. When I was, like, when I was like a little kid, I was not very tall. And then, like, I just kind of decided, like, I don't want to be short anymore. And I grew. And that's you it. just decided. But okay. But you I'm going to be short okay. again because, like, my grandma, my grandmother, bless her heart, she's Puerto Rican. And you know how Hispanics shrink when they get older. <laughs> so if that shit's in my blood, I'm going to get real tiny. I'm nah, you're like, probably just going to be a normal heighted person. Yeah, I might just be regular. <laughs> I might just be 5'8". <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, so what we, uh, oh, yeah, the blindness, the blindness. Uh, so <laughs> that's where so we I was thinking. The only reason why I'd want to try it, because I obviously I think a lot of people can figure out, like you said, at night you can figure out how how what it's like to be blind. However, I think to having true blindness, there is something to being an extraordinary person, like Stevie Wonder, like Ray Charles, like fucking uh, like Daredevil, like there's something <laughs> like, to it. <laughs> like like these two these two realistic these two people that learned how to play the piano and sing really well, and then this comic book character that got <laughs> chemicals then, thrown in his eyes. For Fucking sure, bro. Matt Murdock. <laughs> Matt Murdock is blind, and he's in. He's extraordinary, and so I feel like if you got blinded during surgery temporarily, you might have powers. Derek, you know what? Honestly, go for it. I'm. I, I got your back. Do your thing. <laughs> I Georgia am objectively the most blind person in this call, True. and I can tell you, it's not. It's not. A, it's not fun, really. It's. It's not cool. I mean, it's not hip and and swagalicious. My eyes to suck too. Don't worry, but like I understand. What? My eyes are very. I'm colorblind partially, so like I. Oh, that doesn't count. You just get like a different filter over your fucking. No, the fuck yeah, I don't. I just can't see some colors that are important. I didn't know the color. I didn't know the color carnation pink was pink. I thought it was just white for a long time, and I got into a heated argument with one of my teachers. I was like, "This just looks like it's white. This is like this is like a weird white, I guess." And they were like, "No, that's a pink color." And I was like, "That's not pink." And I raised my voice and I got sent to the principal's office. You can't tell when the traffic light is telling you to go or stop. That's not a big deal. Are you fucking like, dense? Are you that. dense? <laughs> is your brain thick? <laughs> we're only like ten minutes I in. Know. Oh shit. <laughs> Actually, fifteen. This is gonna get oh, buck that's, wild. That's better. That's better. It's gonna get yeah, buck that's, wild. That's better. Uh, Ruibi, I think that's how you say that. I, don't, I have no okay. idea. Tell us. Uh, they wrote in. Tell us more existentially terrifying shit. Mine for today is. Do you think your brain would be able to comprehend the feeling of getting your still beating heart ripped out of your wound? You guys gotta. You guys gotta really. I'm gonna start not reading these things if they're written like weirdly grammatically. Because I'm already dyslexic, and it's fucking me up big time. Yeah, I don't know what the Bam. fuck you were just saying. <laughs> Do you think your brain would be able to comprehend the feeling of getting your still-beating heart ripped out of your chest, or would your brain just short-circuit and shut down? Um, I don't I don't know. Maybe. You'd definitely be able to understand Maybe if, oh, Maybe you might understand it visually, but like you might not know what to feel in your brain. People are like, oh, we don't got time to feel that. We got to try to keep you alive a few seconds longer. No, your brain would just be like, yo, you, you've got your, your brain is where your understandings happen. So like you'd be able to understand. I think you'd be able to understand the process it's happening by vi- visually, but I feel like you wouldn't feel it because your body's probably just like, "What the fuck's going on?" That's not supposed to happen. We're not built to feel that, you know. You wouldn't feel your heart being ripped out of your chest. I don't. I feel like at that time your brain, your probably your brain will probably like 
use some backup function. It'd be like, hey, um, just turn off his sense of feeling for a little bit. Yeah, Let's, it depends uh, on how prepared you are for it. Yeah, it's just I feel like you go into shock. Yeah, you you <laughs> would. Like, I don't know if you could really prepare. I don't know if you could really prepare for oh, that. Oh, oh, let I me tell like you, you definitely people could. that can kind of prepare for it. Um, the 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 people that the Aztecs would fucking uh, or was it it was the Aztecs right that would fucking do this or was it the Mayans? It might have been either. Or they're both. They're both the you know. I always forget. I gotta ask my fucking yeah my friends that know all about that bullshit. Anyway, but the the ones that would do the the sacrifices and they would fucking rip people's hearts out, like those motherfuckers had plenty of time because they absolutely knew what was coming. You know, all those people mm-hmm. that were being like lined up to be sacrificed and have their hearts cut out. So I feel like they had it the worst because they anticipated it, opposed to like say if uh, you know Shang Tsung or someone just walked up to you on the street, just ripped your heart out real quick, and then I don't, I think your brain would like just shut everything down. Like what the fuck just happened? And then what if you're in a line at like Universal and a really tall man behind you uh, gets like a really powerful and quick erection and it goes through your chest and pushes your heart out like a like a little Lego piece um, and then it goes back then in. that guy that would first and foremost, that guy's um, dangerous. <laughs> uh, his dick <laughs> just <laughs> punctured me. His dick just fucking <laughs> entered and in, he'd rape me technically. So um yeah, I mean just I mean a little bit, yeah. That's uh, fucking, that's that's big. That's like that's Inspector a, Gadget. Like that's like something that he has. <laughs> yeah. Go go gadget, heart puncture, dick McGillon. Straight through Wait, your so fucking chest. He specifically does it to puncture people's hearts. Is that <laughs> <laughs> cuz he's tall. He's that tall. That I don't know. Do that. I don't know. I his dick is where people's hearts are. <laughs> like, what the <laughs> fuck is that? What do you mean? He's he's got to be like he's got to be like twelve feet tall, he's probably. A- <laughs> That's insane, bro. <laughs> Although I guess technically Inspector Gadget was pretty tall because like there was that scene in the movie where he's like running, he's like chasing that he's car, walking and he's down blocks, walking on his big ass legs, he's walking down city blocks. Do you remember that movie with like the, they had like another Matthew Broderick with like chiclet teeth? What? No. No, not you at all. You don't remember that? No. In the, in the Inspector Gadget movie, it was Matthew Broderick. He was playing Inspector Gadget, and there was like, like, uh, oh my god, how do you even say this? Like, like a dark version, like a negative a, version a of, of Inspector Gadget. In the, nega, yeah, nega. like a, a nega, a nega Inspector Gadget. A nega Gadget. And he, nega Gadget. I didn't want to. I this is the exact <laughs> reason I didn't want to say nega. nega. But, What's good, but, my nega? <laughs> but he had like, he had like chiclet teeth. He had like really white, like fake looking teeth that look like, like chiclets. Nega gadget, right? Would... Nega gadget had that, right? Yeah. Nega I, gadget had. I don't think teeth. I've seen any of those movies. I saw the first one definitely. There was a second one. Yeah, there was more I, than it one. Wasn't there two? Wasn't there two? Yeah. I'm pretty sure there was two. I could have sworn it was just Cause, one. Because the gadget started fucking up and he had to fix his hands. Maybe you're he had to right. Fix those gadgets. I don't know. Ah, fuck. <laughs> what the hell are we talking about? I don't know. The uh... I don't. How do we get from the ho- oh the heart thing? Would your brain be able to comprehend? Uh, yes, it would. I, yeah. I, it might be able to, but I feel like it's very possible that I could just like skip over it and try to just do something more important. Because I feel like, because I feel like feeling that pain would not be the optimal thing for your brain to do. Because like sometimes when you get hurt really badly, your brain goes into shock. Does your brain do the most optical thing for your brain to do ever? It really? tries to keep you alive first. That's what it does. Like, like, if you, like whenever you break your ribs and you go into shock, your brain's like, you can't really feel this. You don't have time. We try Yo, to. We people gotta, have. The people have daily panic attacks because their brain does it to them. There's that's, no that's, evolutionary that's benefit true, to that. That's true, but that's like a chemical imbalance, you know? Yeah. That's yeah, like, but that's like, like different, that's, like different like, that's like different, um, like your, their brain is built differently. That's like a problem that they have. But you feel all your pain, so why would you just not feel but the you most don't, But you don't always feel your pain because if something's really extreme, your brain is like, it's, it tries to fix the problem instead of like making you get overwhelmed and then overworking another part of your body, you know? It tries to correct I mean, itself. But you still, it, that's kind of like anesthetic, where it's like, oh, yeah, it yeah. numbs it, but you still, Ad- you're still very man. aware. Yeah, you're it, it, still very it aware. It numbs it. You might still be feeling the effects of the pain, but you might not be actually, like, how do I explain it? You might be numbing the pain, but you're still happening to you. You're still taking the damage from it, but you're just numbing it. No, usually. I don't know if that's how the brain works. It does it, do it, that, literally. But it definitely, that, I hate agreeing with Sweeney. I really do. But um, he he he's right, man. He's totally right. And it, when it, it comes to bioscience, sometimes some of the time I'm good. Yeah, I don't I don't like that. It kind of kind of annoys me that you're that you're kind of onto something. But uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> but no, yeah, yeah. It's just like uh, adrenaline. Like say, uh, anytime I've done something, you know, we, we talked about adrenaline before. But uh, like say when I I got I got jumped or when I got when I even got sucker punched by this fucking cholo. 
I didn't feel it until after it was over. After I was like, oh, my jaw's a little sore. But like even with that second that, you know, when he punched me, your my brain already was like, shoot the adrenaline. Shoot it in there so he doesn't feel shit. It's like instantaneous. So kind of like when people get shot or they don't notice or remember that dude Paul Pierce? Uh, yeah, Paul I Pierce. know the best no. player. Yeah, he I fucking, know he, he got he got shanked like eight times at a club, and he had no idea. Like he he got into a fight, That's... and then and then he got stabbed eight times, and then it was later. He's like, "What the fuck? Like, why I'm am I bleeding so, a lot? Why right. am I covered in blood? Am I on my period? Right. What the uh, fuck's uh, going on? Right. <laughs> I, st- I I don't know. I think there's a massive difference I, I, between I, a stab and your one of your <laughs> organs being spooned out of you. Look, I I get I get what you mean by your organ being spooned out of you, but like think of it like this: if you felt your heart be taken out of your body, you'd probably feel so much pain you would just instantly turn off. It wouldn't even be worth feeling that pain. You'd probably feel it and it's yeah, pass but you out. Would, like, oh, I'm dead. I'm going right, to die. Right, but you would feel it. I don't know. Like, and you would understand what's it, happening to you because you would be like, oh, that's my fucking heart. It's I a possibility. I think you would just see that's your heart. But I think it's very possible that your brain will probably sh- try to ignore that and then da- die anyway. Because that's too much work to do. Like, your brain can't fix that. Sure it can. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Chris, I don't know if you're, I don't know if you're being, uh, uh, what is that, that, wh- what do you call it when you're, when you're just being negative for the sake of uh, pissing people off? Stupid, is that what's happening? <laughs> stupid <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, I feel it, man. But he said, he, but he said, tell us more existentially terrifying shit. You know your, you know um, what, what else happens? Aneurysms, bro. That shit's the craziest thing ever. I that's I live in in constant fear of an aneurysm because it's just so fucking random and there's no rhyme or reason to how that shit works. Aneurysm. That is like um, that is somebody just control alt deleting existence and just like closing programs it deems unnecessary. Just a shot in the dark. I don't like that shit. Terrifying. I think the thing that freaks me out a little bit is the idea that or the thing that bothers me is the fact that I don't think we'll ever really have true teleportation. I know certainly not in my lifetime, but just in general as like a as like a as like a species or like even in in science i don't think you'll ever have teleportation because you'd have to be ripped apart and reassembled and i feel like that would in turn be like it would be like stepping into a suicide booth and being like cloned somewhere else and that shit really really freaks me out the idea that i could step into a teleporter and then just my my consciousness stops and then just some other husk goes on with my memories, I mean, I don't, yeah. I don't think it would be another husk. It would, if you were reassembled, it would still be you. It wouldn't still be no. You. But your your consciousness can't be reassembled. I hate to like agree that. with Chris because he's 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 garbage. But it's very true. You would you well, die. You would if you I went mean, to you, teleport. It, it, it is would. an impossibility. I agree with that. But I was just saying, if it were possible, then it wouldn't be think going on to something else. Be, it would just be a well. If it of you, were possible, much. if it were possible, I feel like the only way that we would solve it with our primitive science would be in a way that wouldn't really take into account like kind of the metaphysical kind of ideas of like what consciousness really is. I feel like it would just be like, hey, let's disassemble this person and just reassemble them perfectly on the other side. Which like that, I I feel like you would just cease. I feel like your 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 POV would end, <sighs> and then it would be. It would still be you on the other side, but like player one is no longer. It, it would be like starting a new. It'd be like someone, someone unplugging your controller and putting another controller in. It's like saving in Resident Evil or something, at like chapter seven, and then you continue on past that. It's like once you've loaded, once you've started that new save, like that's that previous save is just that's all. That's where that ends. I think they'd have to. I don't upload know why it would do that. into something else because what happens is when you because when you get. To be teleported, you have to break apart your matter and then reassemble it somewhere else. So you're being atomized, pretty much, and then placed in another place. But the thing is that you have consciousness that no matter, even when you're asleep, it doesn't really just ever just get completely destroyed. So the thing is, you'd have to upload your consciousness into something else and then reassemble your body, then re-input your consciousness back into your body afterwards. That's actually that's 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 probably the way around it, yeah. honestly, because I, I don't I don't foresee people being able to figure out how to teleport human beings or like or like uh, complicated life forms without really just kind of resorting to cloning and just sort of uploading because that seems like which is kind of cool because that seems like really crude and like a cool kind of like sci fi concept. I just don't want I, I think cloning is wild. That shit is insane to me. It's like fucking terrifying, like CRISPR technology. 
and all that shit is just insane. What wait, what is Christmas? Is that the like the gene editing? Yeah, it's like gene thing? editing. Any, yeah. Anything that involves um artificial artificial creation of um organics is mind blowing to me. It's, it's so it's so wild. It's just like it's like dark science to me. That's like editing your your kids, yeah, right? Yeah, technology. That's what the CRISPR stuff is. I mean, it's just it's just a direct way of doing it, but you know, we've been doing that for a very long time with selective breeding. You're very you know, right. We, yeah. So it's just now we yeah, just have a, now we just a lot have of a, dogs. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of dogs right now are just abominations. Fucking, abominations. Yeah, yeah, they're fucking mutants. Oh yeah, you see them. Some of them just look like they're just straight up suffering. <laughs> you know. Yep. You ever you've ever heard a Frenchie or a pug breathe, dude? That shit oh, is yeah. so fucking heartbreaking. Awful. And people think it's so fucking adorable. I'm like, goddamn. It's like, oh, look at him <laughs> wheeze. It's like he's wheezing because he doesn't have all of his nose. Don't you think it's cute the way the top of his skull goes up and down as if it's hollow? He's <laughs> missing so part of his nasal canal, bro. That's not cute. That's horrible. I love the way his ribs collapse every night. <laughs> like it's like, it's, it's so insane, adorable. Like fucking chihuahuas are just naturally terrified. They're just filled with anxiety. That's and why they shake yeah. so much. And people are just <laughs> yeah, like because they think that because it's all the like the adrenaline of a fucking full size <laughs> dog in this, in this tiny pee wee creature. Yeah, it's it'd be like putting putting Broly in Krillin. It's like Krillin would be fucking shaking. He'd be shaking up a storm like constantly. It would be terrifying. That's sad. I fucking uh, I hate you all so much. Krillin would look like if you put Krillin if you put Broly inside of Krillin, Krillin would look like fucking Michael J. Fox. I swear to you. No, he would. He would just no, not. He he'd, he'd look. Stop. He'd look like Flash whenever he's vibrating through solid matter, bro. He'd be it'd be fucking like tra- almost transparent. It'd be it'd be a tranquil process. He'd look, look like that. someone made of smoke. <laughs> <laughs> just a low opacity krillin i don't know man that shit that i i don't like that shit man it really just it really does bother me though because like some of them the ones that aren't ostensibly ostensibly suffering are cute oh, yeah. i think it's all of them are like, suffering though because of the fucking life expectancy Oh like, yeah, they're well, just actually no no no, actually wrong. that's not true. Smaller dogs actually have higher life expectancy. That's true, but the um, thing is that like they also have they usually have like problems. Like for the most part most purebred dogs are sick. Yeah, yeah. No, I I know what you mean, but like I know they're all suffering, but like <laughs> I know there they're are all some suffering, but, all know. of them. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying there's some of them that it's like way more apparent. You're very right. You know what yeah. I mean? Like like you look at like a Yorkie and it's like that thing looks fine, but like a pug is like, oh, why is my skull pushing my face out of my body? What? Why is why why do my eyes fall out when I turn six? <laughs> like, it's the just... thing about Yorkies, you can tell they're fucked up because of their aggression. They're such aggressive little dogs. Like they they'll kill. Like a Yorkie, if you gave a Yorkie, if you gave a Yorkie a knife and an instruction manual on how to use a knife, it would kill everybody in its household. Well, no, it wouldn't because a Yorkie is still a fucking Yorkie and it can't read or pick anything up. What are you hey, talking man, about? If you taught it how to use a knife, man, that thing would fucking slaughter people. Yes, if you hypothetically in a in a different reality imbued a Yorkie with thumbs and a and a malicious conscience. I think they ha- I think the malicious thing is already is already taken care of. They're already malicious. Yeah, but it's not a malicious conscience. I mean, they're conscious somewhat and they're malicious. So I mean, it's it's I don't know. Do you think an alligator is malicious just cuz it like tears the arms off of other alligators? Not so much. I think if an animal chooses to hurt something out of want, it's a malicious like chimpanzees are malicious. They can be very much malicious. Killer whales can be malicious. But maliciousness requires empathy, and like animals kind of don't really have that. Like, there's no way That's a not cat. Not exactly true. There's no way a cat understands that. Like, I, I don't know if I don't know if dogs really understand. I pain. think they do. That's very totally much so. Think, that's yeah. that's the, that's ridiculous. I don't know. Yeah. That's a ridiculous I'm not a dog, thing. so I can't if you, know. If you but hit like, a dog <laughs> and it whimpers and runs away, it understands pain. That's no, 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 that's not what I'm saying, idiot. I, I, what do I you can mean? feel pain, but I don't know if it understands that when it bites down on you, it's hurting you. It does. Yeah, I think they it lick just you knows. afterwards. That's, I think why it when, knows. that's why when you play with dogs, they don't go full force and tear your arm off. They're, Literally. They, they bite you ever so gently. Or like cats usually don't claw your eyes out, and they won't extend their claws when they're fucking with you, you know? Yeah, I guess that's, that's a good point. Like if a dog bites you, it licks you afterwards. Because it knows it hurts you. Like, especially if you, like, you reel back, it'll try to lick your hand. Yeah, that's a fair point. Yeah, that makes sense. They do. They just, they just can't communicate it the way we can. That's all it is. Yeah. Because they're yeah, not I, as I guess... smart because they're stupid. They're fucking dumb animals. Yeah, no, that makes they're sense. They're slaves. Sense. Yeah, you're totally right. <laughs> slaves? <laughs> they are, man. Because I was I thinking, I was dog. thinking, because I was thinking more along the lines of just, like, 
under like I figure a dog understands it when it bites another animal or like presumably like based on its like genetic memory that it when it bites an animal it stops moving and you and they can eat it but I don't know if they understand like I didn't know if they could really understand that that animal is feeling pain so much as they're just like oh I know how to eat things and this is how you eat things I think no, definitely Based on uh, human interaction, usually animals change psychologically a lot. So I think yeah, yeah. definitely dogs and cats, particularly, and even bears, because it's weird because bears have a lot of ridiculously social like behavior, which is disgusting. You see a bear at a fucking gangbang? What? <laughs> it's just like, I'm here. Uh, yeah, a bear. It's me, I'm a, a bear. A bear walks in, puts a condom on, and it's like, I got next. <laughs> says <laughs> that. It says that out loud. Because <laughs> like, they're, the so- they're social animals, Derek. They have social behavior, man. It's weird. I, I that my mind did hmm, my mind did not go there at all <laughs> when he said social. You ever see you ever see the country bears? Uh, <laughs> is that movies? is that the the no? Oh, I thought that was like a book or you, something. You, you never saw a bear at an open mic, <laughs> spitting, <laughs> <laughs> just spitting a bunch of spoken word about how terrible forest fires are. You never been there before? Just, <laughs> it's snapping its fingers and it's just. <laughs> 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 And you know there's some fucking stupid hipsters at the club just like totally like, yeah, man, just vibing <laughs> no, off that but, shit. No, but then you, like but then you start to listen. Shit. You start to listen and you start understanding the bear's pain simply through facial expression. You're like, damn, this bear is really talking about You start about to hear emotions. clear English. <laughs> like, Stop burning my forest, man. Fuck. For real. Shit sucks, bro. Fuck, I'm starving. My baby's starving. <laughs> I love the idea of a bear just fucking roaring and snapping its fingers at a fucking open mic. That's they don't even have fingers. They have paws, bro. They have yeah, I know. That's why it's that's why it's off putting. <laughs> pins one of the pins one of the people in the audience up against the wall, and he whispers, "I tried to tell you," and then it just slowly eats his head. <laughs> slowly, fuck. <laughs> It just scoops his face off his body like a fucking like the cream off an Oreo. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up. Bear could totally do that. Yo, I've had that image in my head for such a long time. Just like the 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 visage of scooping anything off of something the way cream falls off an Oreo when you fucking just so it. just so together like the or, the cream and Oreo so together like it's. It doesn't really <laughs> adhere to the Oreo the right way, you know? Yeah, you can scoop it off pretty cleanly. Yet it it's so reliably grafted onto it. Yeah, it's weird. It's fucking, it's weird. All right. What uh, are we talking about? What's I don't know. Where does, where does <laughs> I, I, I don't I, know. This is, this is our lives. You. This is our lives at this point. Chase Davis wrote in, said, Which of the elemental bending powers from Avatar The Last Airbender would you have? You can make up your own if you want. Uh, Air. Air? It's easy, e- easy air. You know the if amount of fuck shit I could do with air bending. If we're going on just purely, if if we're just being like rudimentary and like sticking with the basics as to like, okay, this is air bending, fire bending, water bending, earth bending. These are just like the basics of what you can do. I feel like earth bending is probably like the most useful, but uh, they're all useful. But yeah, but I mean, I don't know. Just earth bending seems cool to me. Just like flinging mountains of people. But the also just like from just like a shelter, like you could build your own house and like a set, like I mean, it's yeah. it's a it's a really utilitarian ability. But if we're going by like the actual like lore implications, like the deeper implications of like fire bending, being able to control lightning and kind of shut people's synapses off, or like water bending, translating into like blood bending and shit, I, I'd probably want to do. I, I'd probably want water because water is kind of you everywhere. Control people, you fucking demon. I, you would you wouldn't want a blood bend? I would not want a blood bend. Yeah, you say that now, and no, then somebody, be some wizard falls into your fucking lap and says, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to give you a, a blood bend." If I was given it, I would use it obviously because I'm given this ability. Why, why not use this thing I've been gifted? But yeah. like, if I could choose, I would choose airbending because you could do everything. You could manipulate every element airbending. It's fantastic. Yeah, can't really manipulate Earth, can you? You can blow winds hard enough to pick up rocks and fling them at people. Yeah, but I can make, I can be the rocks. <laughs> I can be the, oh. I'm the rocks. 
Can you smell what the rocks are cooking? I would be an airbender and I would do fuck shit. I'd, cla- I'd crash planes. I'd crash helicopters. What is I'd wrong fucking, with you? I'd make fucking tsunamis. I'd fucking make hurricanes, bro. I'd fucking take people's air off their lungs, man. I'd fucking collapse people's head. I'd fucking do shit that I couldn't get fucking caught for doing because it's wind. You're giving oh me shit God, about bro. wanting to bloodbend. And you're fucking con- out here. I don't want to take people's crat- will away. You're out here killing. You're out here. Okay, hold on. You're you're giving me shit for bloodbending, and you're out here sending Kobe Bryant into the mountains. And I'd be doing so much fuck shit. I would be. I would literally change the way this planet worked. I would fuck this world up. This is why, man. This is why we can't have anything nice. I would. I would literally fuck with the the wind above the fucking in upper atmosphere and cause like fucking serious storms. Like I'd fucking ruin this planet. Just I am for fucking fun. Certain. I am certain that whatever creator of the universe is listening to you right now as and using it as a prime example of why humanity should not ascend. Oh yeah, we shouldn't ascend. Oh, absolutely. We're monsters. We're monsters. They're like, I'm just admitting it. Everybody I, I, fucking I, I, hides it. It's solely that guy. N- <laughs> nobody else. It's that guy. Like we we were gonna give you uh time travel. We we're we gonna show that. you how wormholes <laughs> are gonna work. We're gonna oh, we show you that. all of this beautiful stuff. And then this man keeps opening up his fucking his, his jaws and making the most horrendous fucking sounds, and and, and it scares us. <laughs> look, look. All I gotta say is that I would be a god. Let's do a hypothetical. A let's do a hypothetical here. Let's do a, let's do a let's do a hypothetical here. I'm 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 God, and you've just died, and you're at heaven. Oh me. Yeah, you've oh, just fuck. you've just died. Okay. You're you're at the pearly gates. You're you're walking up to me. Okay. Oh, hello, hello there. Hey, 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 God, hey, God, what's up? Um, uh, you are not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be downstairs. Yeah, I I know, but um, I I came here to um dispute that claim. I don't really want to go to hell. It seems too no, hot down you there. No, s- you you say you want to crash Kobe Bryant into building. You, but, you want but to? It, it was it was joke. It was big. No, joke. it's I, no joke. I I read your heart. I read no, your heart and mind. No, you, you go can, downstairs you where the no, devil no, is. No, one one mo- one moment. May I, may I please talk to you? Okay. Why are you putting a voice on? This is supposed to be you. <laughs> that's just how I sound. <laughs> that's, that's what I was thinking. This is my voice. <laughs> That's your voice when you die because you've died of a feeble voice box disease. And why is and why is fucking God German? <laughs> why is God German? Yeah, why is he German and or Austrian? What what, what was that? Somewhere uh, in between. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like his name I, I was can't... like Heinrich or some shit. Heinrich Yahweh. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought God would sound more like, like bombastic and urban, you know, like "What's up, niggas?" Like you know, what's like, good, niggas? Sounds- I'm Yahweh. What's popping? What's popping? Y'all trying to get saved or what, son? <laughs> Doesn't that shit sound like commanding? What if God was like a hot broad that was just moaning all the time? I <laughs> wouldn't want to hear. I would. I wouldn't want to hear moaning all the time. Like that shit's not attractive all the time. Yeah, <laughs> that shit's fun. That shit's like that shit's cool when it's cool and only in that context. When you hear somebody moaning outside old. of that context, it's disgusting. Because I do it, and it fucks like... with people. <laughs> oh, oh, well, god damn. That's weird. I just moan randomly to make people upset, it's, and it's funny because they get angry. Oh, I get it, yeah. You're that like would perpetually 13. Yeah. <laughs> You're perpe- yeah. I, I'm yeah. going to moan because it makes people angry, and that's funny. Yeah, I like controlling people's emotions. You're you're Me actually just a full blown psychopath. This is I'm what I mean. Psychopath. I started I'm this. Not I started. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I started this episode specifically saying that you are likely worse than your persona is, and I think, really, honestly, any episode of this podcast really kind of makes that argument. I am me. not. Look, look. Okay, look. Let me explain to you my way of thinking. Okay. I am fucked up because all the shit I know, I use it to harm people or bother people. I just like fucking with someone's life because that's just divine. Fuck this planet. You have okay. said uh, <laughs> every single word that I need to make it to edit you into saying something terrible. So like, that's what good. is wrong with you? You um, fucking, you're a demon. You're a demon. I love you it. You talk shit about me, but you're, you, you literally just warned me that you could fucking destroy me. You just hey, warned I, me I, to blackmail me. What's your fucking I, deal? I told you though. Like I, I told you, it's fine. Doesn't if you tell make something. you a hero. Doesn't make you. Oh man, I I fucking shot your son in the face, but I told you, so I'm a good guy. Like that doesn't that doesn't change anything. At the, I mean, that's a, that's a lot. That's a big difference. <sighs> man, if I knew it was happening, then I was like, all right, well, at least you gave me the time to prepare for this. Look, I'm fucked up, but you are <laughs> fucked up too. Uh, and don't act like on. you're better than me. 
Uh, moving on. <laughs> there was another Avatar one that I... I oh, yeah. Uh, Gweezy wrote in, Hello, Sween Team and the Dream Machines. Ooh, uh, also, like Gabby. That. Also, Gabby, if Derek isn't there. Derek is here, and Gabby is not. I don't know where Gabby's Gabby is. Gabby's here right now, unfortunately. Um, did she go out to get food? Yeah, I think she went out to grab some food. Uh-oh. Is we she, like, dying. fucking living there or something? I mean, she's, being, yeah. I mean, she was here <laughs> during the quarantine, so, like, there's not really... A way to get back because none of us have cars. Yeah, what what what's what's to do with you, fucking Californians? You, you're officially Californians now because you've been here long enough. And don't you, call you me. Don't that. have fucking cars. Hey, don't call if me you that. don't want to fucking be called a Californian, get the fuck out of California. Don't call right? me a fucking Californian. I am a <laughs> New right, Yorker son? still. Right? Don't fucking yeah. Call then me go that, then bro. go to New York, bitch, because you you've been living I would in love New York. To, is, but I New York can't. is dead right now. <laughs> what do you mean? I'd what do you mean? You, what do you mean you can't? It's like fucking Raccoon City over there. I'm not going back to that bitch right now. I wait till that yeah. shit clears out. It's, I kid you not. As soon as New York is like okay to go to, I swear. Right, whatever. I'm going to New York. What were you gonna say? What are you, what are you? What are you trying to get at? Why, especially you, Chris? Why the fuck don't you have a car over here yet? What's going on? Because I just haven't really needed it enough. That's, that's not true. I haven't needed it enough. I imagine you probably spent enough money on fucking taxis to have like two cars. No. I yes. Don't, I, I think I, so. Maybe. Bro, bro, I hate bro. that logic because that shit's I like bro- it's if for a down payment for a car. Definitely, probably. Okay, look at look at if see. I don't. I don't. I I bought my car, my my truck that I have for fifteen hundred three years ago, fifteen hundred. That's it. And it's been good. I mean, it's had a couple problems, obviously, but it's still like it's been like well worth it. You, you feel me? Yeah, that's the thing. I, I I don't I don't need the the problems. I don't need that. I have enough it's- problems as it is. I don't need to worry about the thing. <laughs> The thing that I use to primarily get around breaking down on me on a highway or, like, maintaining this thing like it's a fucking baby that's going to break down every couple months. Oh, I got to get the fucking oil check. Oh, I got to make sure it passes the fucking inspection. Oh, I got to bring it in for a fucking recall because everything gets a fucking recall all the time. I'm done. I'm d- I don't need that shit. But I could just yeah. get in an Uber or just walk. This is why I, I moved to Burbank from Glendale is because, like, Burbank's just, like, so much more walkable. Then yeah, there's a lot of stuff in. Uh, I mean, yeah, I hate Glendale. True. I'm glad I'm. I just, Glendale's is the that's, worst. But that's like, the thing. It's just it's the it's the convenience of it. Like I I love. You hate I would Armenian prefer. I, I would I would prefer to have a car. I would prefer to have a car, but it's it's expensive. The insurance is super high for guys in general. Yeah. Uh, in California, it's like crazy high. I just pay uh, um, for, forty eight bucks a month. It's not that bad. I mean, for real. Yeah, that's pretty good. Progressive baby. I, yeah, I don't know. Good. I, I definitely thing, will get man. a car eventually. <laughs> mm. I definitely will get a car eventually, but it's just like, I don't know. It's it's just been, it's more of an inconvenience to go get a car than it is just to stay the way things currently are. Yeah, it's it's, it's slightly inconvenient. Also, That's I've been so, I've, I've, I've been in so many people's cars where it's like, oh, let's go somewhere. And then we drive somewhere in LA and then it feels like half the trip is spent looking for fucking parking and you got to park in a, a fucking... Oh yeah, that's just uh, that's just stupid. That the people that try to uh, find parking in L.A., Hollywood, or anything remotely in that in the in these areas, I, I'm I'm like, what are you doing? Just it's fucking just, w- w- stop, stop. It's it just right so now. much easier to just get in an Uber and step out and not have to worry about anything. And you're no, right I agree in front with that. Thing. I agree with that. But when you're like commuting, which I see people do, yeah. and then I see people buy fucking Starbucks every day, I'm like, dude, do you know how much money you're spending? Like, holy fuck. That, that's yeah. all. I just I trip out on that shit. But that is that is fair. I don't leave the house right. much though, and when yeah, I do, so it's it's to walk to like the bar that's down the street or like <laughs> or like any other. And I'm definitely not even leaving the house now, really. Um, uh, I know. Fair, yeah. fair. I know. It would be it would be kind of stupid to buy a car now. Would, yeah. <laughs> Once this is over, though, I'm definitely gonna. I I need something. You should buy a. I might, get a, motor, I might get a motorcycle. Honestly. I thought about you it. would I, you would no. fall over in a motorcycle so fucking fast. I've, dude. I've been on motorcycles before. I'm not good. It's terrifying. I might crash, but hey, you never know. You got to live life. You, you only get one. One hundred percent will crash. You only live life once, man. You know you gotta you gotta you gotta take life by the yeah, horns. See, and you yeah. Go. See, see the the point is since you only live once, you should fucking protect yourself. Uh, you, you guys are you guys are sound like a bunch of punks to me, honestly. Like we were look. just having a conversation like not that long ago about the fact that everyone, everybody that we know who has a motorcycle has been in some crazy fucking accident. That's very true, actually. One of our friends more than once. Yeah, <laughs> we have a friend who's we have a friend who's been under cars so many times. Remember when Jalen came home bleeding? I was so confused. 
I was just like, why what? is he bleeding? Dude, he had he had like a huge scar. Does he still have the scar on his arm? I don't know. He he was dry- he had a moped. Jalen, our our uh, other roommate, had a had a moped for a while or something like that. Like a, I, I mm-hmm. forget what what exactly he had, but he drove it around and like he came home bleeding one day. He was like, "Hey, do you got any weed?" <laughs> and he's like not somebody who smoked. He at the time he just he was not like somebody who smoked at all. And he just walked into my room bleeding, holding his arm. Do you have any weed? <laughs> That's how I knew it was serious. <laughs> Instead of going to the emergency room or anything, I uh, just get some weed. I'm fine. If you got uh, no, if you got some scrapes there. and bruises, you're fine. You don't need to go to emergency room. If you, yeah, if you get, if I mean, also bruises, you, right. you go to the emergency room and then you're fucking, then you're just completely, you're destitute. You're fucking poor man after that. Uh, we should get back to this question because we. <laughs> what do you what? Mean, what? What was it? We're worried. Uh, we, I didn't even finish reading it. Oh, you but, never like, even said it. <laughs> uh, uh, it, it said, hello, Sween team and the Dream Machines. Also, uh, Gabby, if Derek isn't there, we already established she's not. Uh, which is the better of the three films? And this is a horrible, just horrible assortment. We have Dragon Ball Evolution. Oh, I fuck. Knew I knew Avatar it. The Last Airbender, the film. Oh, no. Or Catwoman. I personally love all because seven-year-old me didn't know any better and is now just nostalgia. I would say Catwoman because at least Catwoman, like... Catwoman was never good, so you were never disappointed. Like, you weren't going to go into Catwoman and be like, wow, this movie's going to be great. You kind of like, oh, this is Catwoman, I guess. And Hadley Berry's in it, she's, she's beautiful. But, like, Avatar and Dragon Ball were just so not what anyone wanted or expected <laughs> or could have expected or just, it was just, it was just Dude, bad. They were bad. Goku kicks a fly into Master Roshi's throat in that movie. And Goku's it's like. Goku's in high school in that movie, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's really Son every, Goku, everything, the everything fucking is wrong alien. With that, movie. that guy, that guy's career was destroyed. Yeah, he shouldn't have been in that, that movie. He should have seen that script and left. I wonder how people agree to that shit. Are they that desperate for a fucking role? Because oh, don't you read this shit and then do some research and be like, oh, this isn't gonna be good. This yeah. is the, no, no. I mean, no, not I at mean, all. people, people need to work, man. Uh, e- even, even some of the most famous voice actors today, like you'd be surprised at how much they don't make. They make a lot oh, only yeah. because they make a lot only because they work a lot. Uh, yeah. Which is why like Nolan North and Troy Baker are in everything, but they're not, they're not like rolling in it. So like when you have like yeah, it's actors, really so when you're actors and you're like, um, you've got an opportunity to be in a Dragon Ball movie and you're a no name. You know, it, it's almost like one of those things where it's like it's better to be known for something bad than just not known at all for yeah, some people. It's, it's wild, dude. A lot of the voice actors, like I, the whole Critical Role crew, they kind of just like, uh, like they're all the biggest voice actors like in the game. But a lot of them just like do Critical Role because they get paid so much more from it. Like Mercer isn't really voice acting right now. Yeah. He's paid so much more from this other avenue that why would he be focusing on this thing that's not going to get him that much money? Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Wild. Like we, everybody used to make fun of like... Uh, I mean, I, I still do sometimes. The fact that, like, Nolan North is just everywhere and, like, you see, like, Tom Kenny, the, like, the voice of Spongebob in some fucking knockoff Kung Fu Panda movie and you're like, what the hell? Why why is Spongebob in this knockoff DreamWorks film that was funded by, like, some Russian company for $18? Like, what the... Like, <laughs> how, $18. Jesus Christ. Like, it's just... Uh, <laughs> and you just kind of realize, like, oh, yeah, I guess they just don't... You really gotta make eat. that although Sp- i'm sure tom kenny's probably rolling it oh he's, dude he's, he's, i mean and he's done so much now, even definitely. before that dude he's spongebob so. like how do you how are you spongebob and you're not like rich absolutely do you think he puts on the voice during sex i he better what's your fucking deal because yeah, I, I, I saw this because i saw this i saw a video of him recently like as spongebob cursing up a storm and it was dude like, was that in your recommended yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was in mine too. <laughs> it was in my oh recommended. My I haven't seen it because I've been this watching yet. so much SpongeBob. Watch Definitely got to oh, watch yeah, this. Oh yeah, I've been uh, binging on SpongeBob on uh, Amazon Prime. I didn't even know it was on Amazon yeah, Prime. Yeah, it's on Prime. Hell oh, yeah, that's dude. Cool. I'm on a uh, season two right now. Fucking so good. It's 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 even better than I than the last time I I was watching it because there's just so much so much going on in it that uh you you you're not gonna understand when you're really fucking young. You know what I mean? It's just so much better. Yeah, yeah. I just watched that uh, that sailor one when they had the gutter mouth when they were saying all the bad words or whatever. And they were doing. Oh the, yeah, uh, the yeah. I was sounds. just watching it. Yeah, and th- in that video, they were explaining that they were actually swearing, but you'll never find those fucking recordings. I was like, fuck, I want to hear those so badly. I want to hear those. Yeah, it'd be so amazing to hear that. Yeah, I wonder what they said. It, you know, right? Like whether whether they were like, 
Yeah, because like I'm thinking they were just like basic curse words, but also like you, like they could have easily put like slurs in there. <laughs> and I'm just like I'm so curious. I'm so. I just want to hear SpongeBob say the N word so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear Mr. Krabs, dude. He's a really great voice actor. Do you know how I found out? I didn't even this all this time. I only found out he was a Mr. Krabs because uh, Clancy was uh he was the dad in in Master's Effect Andromeda, and they were like. Clancy Brown is is the dad. I was like, um, uh, and he also does Mr. Krabs. I was like, the fucking guy from Shawshank Redemption. He's Mr. Krabs. It blew my fucking mind. He was also no uh, he was also Doctor Cortex in the Crash games, which I had no idea. I didn't know that time. either. That makes sense. Actually, <laughs> that's so crazy. Yeah, it's I insane. just found out. I just found out something just by uh, actually paying attention. I I just started, or uh, a couple weeks ago, I started playing Dante's Inferno again, and then um. I was playing, and then I'm listening to Dante do his sound effects, and I'm like, "Dude, that's fucking Dracula from uh, 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 from from the Castlevania, the Netflix Castlevania." And I was like, "That's that that dude, Graham McTavish." And then, oh, cool. And then I was like, uh, playing it, and when you're facing your father, and I'm listening to him, and I'm like, "What the fuck? That's Mark Hamill." I, I, it blew my mind. I had no idea. It, it just, yeah, it's crazy the shit that you just become aware of after like a long period of time. <laughs> Yeah. Of just being alive and like paying attention to all these voice actors. Yeah, I can notice Keith David anywhere now. Anywhere I know his voice. Keith David is my favorite person on the fucking planet. Yeah. Anywhere he's I great. know his voice. It's insane now. I've been actually I've actually been playing through Mass Effect Two uh again. Because it's been so long and I, I you, when, when you told me that they were backwards compatible and I didn't realize it, I was like, Oh shit, I'm I'm gonna jump into it again. And it's so good. It's so much better than I remember it actually. Like uh gameplay's still a little you know. It's not it, amazing. It's, yeah, it's a little old, but like the, I'm I can't even describe how much I love that game. Yeah, the gameplay, uh, the gameplay was fixed. Like it, it was fine tuned perfectly, in my opinion. In uh, in in Mass Effect Three. Yeah. They they just they just they this added a little more things, a little more liberal. The combat was very smooth. And one thing is, you could run. You there was no you, yeah. You didn't you didn't stop. There was nothing stopping you. You're a soldier. You're trained to fucking sprint, and you're able to you run. Can... I was like, thank you. You can run in Mass Effect 2. You for fucking three seconds. No, you can run for a long time. No, no. You can run for five seconds max after you boost it or some shit. You put something on no, it. And I, you can run. No, no. Dude, try it again. I, I've Eric been playing passionate. it. I've sprinted Dude, down I hallways. I could have swore I've seen you can't, Chris run No, a lot. you're, t- you're thinking about jogging while you're out of fucking combat. When you're in combat, there's a sprinting mechanism. And you can only sprint for like five seconds maximum. I really? For, for every For every, cl- every class? As far as I'm concerned, because uh, I've I've done uh, I usually do soldier vanguard. Oh yeah, um, I'm doing vanguard right now. Yeah, and vanguard. Yeah, I, I, maybe you're right. Well, I, I feel like I feel like I feel like you're probably right, but I I've never noticed it cut out on me because I'm very I'm not really running that often. Yeah, I mean, I guess you don't really need to, especially if you're a vanguard. I mean, you, yeah, because no you can do the warp, reason. dude. The warp is so much better in three. Like it's fucking ridiculous. Like the the improvement of the warp is fucking it's my favorite there's no reason to play any other class because they just fine tune it perfectly and then you do this other nova smash thing where you like s- smash down and then your shield yeah, kind of goes you use yeah, your kingston. shield oh, oh yeah kingston why is everybody it's attacking so... me leave me alone leave me alone i'm gonna play it okay back off yeah okay okay back off i'm gonna do it <laughs> it's been it's been 10 years since i played it and i played it again before he played it the first time oh my god that fucked up and that fucked up this guy's just but fucking... anyway Jacking off and playing Smash, and you won't fucking touch Mass Effect. I'll fucking jack off on your legs. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a terrible threat. But, uh, yeah, I guess. What were we talking Oh, the Dragon Ball movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. To yeah, Mass yeah. Effect. So, to Mass so Effect between, and off of someone's legs. God hey, everything, everything goes back to Mass Effect because it's great. Yeah. Um, I guess between Avatar, Dragon Ball, and Catwoman, I'd say probably Dragon Ball is probably the worst one. I give it to Catwoman. But, I'm gonna have to but, go with. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm sorry. I give it to. I give it to Catwoman's the best. I would say the worst is probably. You see, Dragon Ball doesn't even have good writing in regular Dragon Ball. You know, I I would but argue Avatar is so such a good show. So like I I would argue that Dragon Ball, like Avatar is bad, but like. You could recognize that as an Avatar movie. Like, okay. it looks like an Avatar yes, movie. Yes, that's what I I agree with that. Dragon Ball, you wouldn't know that that was Dragon, like, based on Dragon Ball at all unless you, you knew were Dragon told. Ball. 
Oh, yeah, 100%. Or, or unless you knew Dragon Ball like really, really well. Um, so I would say based on based on potential or like what they did with a with a franchise, uh, definitely Dragon Ball is the worst one. But as a movie, as a movie, Catwoman is just a fucking abomination. I there's there's actually this. This really viral scene, like it's a famous scene that I'm pretty sure I anybody, it. I know it. anybody, anybody who's into editing at all has seen this this scene, and it's the scene where her and uh, where Catwoman and, and someone else, like I don't know who the fuck it is, they're playing basketball in a court, and the camera cuts, I think, like a hundred and fifteen times in a span of forty seconds, <laughs> and it's the most egregious editing. I've ever seen in anything like even Ang Lee's Hulk movie wasn't oh this wasn't edited this poorly. Like it Hulk is edited badly though. Badly. It it is, but like this is so much it hurts your eyes to look at it. Like it's just it's it's what I imagine D Day felt like, oh but like God. for your eyes. Like you're just being assaulted from by like all these angles and all these visuals, and none of them look good. You're being assaulted. Jesus. God. It's not it's a good movie. A, it's really I, bad. So, like, from a technical aspect, from te- as far as technical aspects go, I think Catwoman's probably the worst one. Just because, like, people kind of expected Dragon Ball to be bad. But, like, I think at the time, Catwoman didn't really need to be. Like, I, I feel like there's such an easy way to make Catwoman totally fine. And they just fucked it up. But, like, Dragon Ball like, is, like, inconceivable how you would even do that in live action. Same thing with Avatar, I, honestly. I still, I still, like, how disrespectful to me is it that they didn't even try, even remotely, oh my to God, make them look like how they are? Like, say, Chow Young Fat is uh, playing Master Roshi, and I'm just like, it's like they just said, hey, just, just, just cast some Asian guy, just get, get one of yeah. them famous Asians, and I'm like, you couldn't have found a bald, a bald old guy. How fucking hard I mean, they, is that? I mean, I mean they could have the also just they really could have also just too, made they could have also just made him bald. They could have also just like because there are people who go through like crazy transformations and even just like people who wear like makeup and like very very true. You, you know all these like different different things to make them like actually look like the characters. I don't. I, it's really weird to me that they just couldn't shave Chalion Fat's head or just put like some beard on him. Shave his head. He's not even walking like Master Roshi walks. Like there's, <laughs> there's like nothing. Like there's nothing that looks more like my uncle Lucho than it looks like fucking <laughs> Oh my God. Dude fucking Lucho. King Piccolo looks like a just he looks like a piece of shit. Like he looks like a green he piece looks of shit. Disgusting. He looks like he looks like an he... avocado, bro. <laughs> he looks fucking horrible. He does. He's the alpha cuddle. <laughs> he looks like a fucking. Hey, oh. He looks like a pickle Rick man. Like he he's just such <laughs> such a disgusting animal. Like that, that they made Piccolo into. He looks I like actually, a cosplay. I like that dude. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna make that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get that scene of I don't know him showing up and just saying I'm pickle Rick. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna splice that shit together. Oh it's God, kind of amazing. Forget. Like that pickle Rick meme is like really weird because it was like so bad. It was so terrible. And then he, like. There was a like that meme that came out like later, or that resurfaced later. Yeah, it's back. About, yeah, like it's come back, but in like a really ironic sense. That's yeah. such a terrible episode of fucking Rick and Morty, dude. It is. A really I disagree. Bad one. I disagree. I see. I feel like it, I feel like the fan base ruined it. When I watched the episode, and um, I talked to a guy, my friend that doesn't go on the internet like this shit. He's like a sh- super normie. And he watched the episode, he's like, oh, that episode was fucking great. Like, a lot of gory action and stuff. It was pretty fun. And I'm like, it was. And then it got turned into this weird meme thing where, like, I'm Pickle Rick. I feel like he said that, like, maybe three or four times in the entire episode. And yeah. Then, like, he said it he one says time. It every I time. He said, I thought like, he said it one time, actually. Like, yeah, he yeah. Said yeah. It I think he said it a couple of times at least. But I feel like he it said kinda, it only it got, once, honestly. It's one of those things that, like, it's what do they call like the court of public opinion kind of a thing where it's like people were like, oh, that shit was fucking whack or I didn't. Oh, that shit was so annoying. And I was like, dude, they didn't. It wasn't. I don't think it was intended to be like that. I think it was intended to be a regular episode. And then um, what was that Szechuan shit? Just it just got kind of caught in a weird storm. I, I feel. Yeah, like. no. I yeah, you're that, definitely I, you're probably right. I think that episode was 
bad because they wanted it to be bad. I think like that was episode wasn't meant to be an episode that was like a really really good one. I think they built no. it or like uh this is going to be an episode we're going to put out. It's going to be in a season. It's not going to be really as good as other ones, but it's going to have some cool action. No, I I I don't think so. I I I think I think Derek's probably right. Like, I, I think, like, when I think back to when I saw it for the first time, I thought it was pretty funny. But, like, I thought, the, I, I thought him killing the rats was insane. I thought that was, like, fucking gorgeous. No, the, the worst. The, the, Danny season, Trail was in it. Yeah, he season fought the guy, three, right? Season three is, like, full of. It's it's not really that good. Uh, the worst one, though, is, like, it, it's true. not. Pickle Rick's not the worst one. It's just the most annoying one because it's inescapable. Uh, <laughs> but, like, I don't know. It's kind of made a resurgence with that. It's like, oh, he What's turned himself into a pickle funniest shit i've ever seen <laughs> and all these like voice <laughs> actors doing it it's 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 genuinely funny but like hey peter the worst episode the worst hey, episode peter. Is, yeah really really good you got a real good career eddie <laughs> shut up <laughs> the uh the worst episode of that fucking show or in that in that season specifically is the, is the avengers one yeah that's not a good episode I really oh hate that one. yeah yeah Where it just sort of ends that. with a fucking logic concert and you're like what that, oh yeah that's right that was yeah. logic. Yeah, that was really not good. Uh, was not the best. What's the consensus? Are we are we are Catwoman I'll, or, I'll, or Dragon Ball? Uh, I'm, I'm I I'm gonna go with the Last Airbender. Actually, I'm sorry. That's wow. fair. That's such an um, affront to fucking well. Actually, my I, love. I haven't even seen that. To be honest, I haven't seen that one. You're um, a you're a smart man. <laughs> and uh, let's see. I, I'm gonna have to go. Me personally, I'm gonna have to go with the evolution because of just. Uh, it, I guess that's just out of a, it's more out of a bias. I can't even I can't even objectively yeah. think about it. I can't even objectively that's think fair. about it. It was just so offensive to me. I agree with you, but based on, yeah, I, I agree with you. I, I think it, I think it is. I think Catwoman is still worse, but it probably I'm, is. I'm I'm more offended by drag by evolution. Uh, what do we got? We got Jillian X wrote in. This has been a long debated would you rather question with my friends. Would you rather kill one random person or kill 100 animals also random? You cannot choose which person or animal and you must k- personally kill them however you want. Uh, you guys are great. Keep it up, Abby. Uh, what? At first I thought like easily 100 animals, right? Uh, ab- no, no. Really? I, look. Am look, I crazy? Man. Well, not necessarily, because I think a lot of people would, they're like, oh, I could never kill a person, you know, we're people, you know, there's people like that, I get that. I just can't imagine killing a hundred of anything. Like, that. that's, I think, I think after a while I would descend into madness. Derek, you know? you've definitely killed a hundred of something. Absolutely. I mean, well, well, okay, I've probably killed millions of ants over my lifetime. Yeah. Sure. But, okay, fair enough. Isn't it random? Like you're gonna be getting like an assortment of fucking random creatures to murder, and I just I look I look I don't like killing anything. I just I just not my thing, you know. Like I just it's just murder. Something about murder is just really unattractive to me. I don't know. Yeah, you just want to blow up the I world. Guess, I guess I'm crazy, you know. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, this is the part in the podcast where we rewind to the part where he talks about trying to crash planes. <laughs> but that's a hypothetical. I'm not doing it. It's it's the air. It's my wind. My wind's doing it. I'm just making wind, bro. And it, things are crashing. So what you're really saying <laughs> is murder is only okay if I if I could do it really well. M- murder is only okay never. <laughs> But (laughs) (laughs) really, (laughs) that's a great moral (laughs) lesson for the podcast. I don't know. I think I would choose a. I don't know if I just. I don't know, man. I just. I. I could definitely kill a hundred animals. Man, I got a bunch of fucking cute ass lambs, a bunch of cute little fucking corgis, a little baby chimpanzee. Like I, I wouldn't want to do that shit. You know, like yeah. But then the alternative is that. The alternative is that, like, you might have to kill, like, some old lady. I mean, I mean, let's let's be let's be real for a second. okay? let's be real and callous. Okay. there's way more humans on the planet. You know, there's too many of us here. That's a fact. Actually, we're very popular. Humans are extremely popular on this planet. There's more people than animals. No, that's no. I'm saying that's not what he means. There's a lot of humans on the planet. That's it. I'm just saying. Okay, there's a lot of animals on the planet. What's your point? Yeah, that's true. But the thing is that you know we're not really. Most animals aren't overpopulated, you know, but right. definitely humans are overpopulated, you know. So I'm just saying, like, this is every possible rich, animal, by the way. Ri- I mean, every possible animal, but definitely humans, you know. 
No, what I'm saying is like the, the hypothetical applies to every possible animal. You can oh. get like fleas or like like an ant. Or but like you, you could fish. also just not. You can get a, you can get a hundred tigers that were in the wild and you got to murder all of them. And there's just no more wild tigers. <laughs> I guess I, you know? I, hadn't <laughs> cons- I hadn't considered the tiger. You know, but I think or or fucking or whales or fucking or probably people. If you do animals too, you might just get people. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. That could, it's like a little a trick, almost. Yeah, see, we're not doing some gay riddles, okay? That's not what's happening. <laughs> because it's not a riddle. It's, it's, it's otherwise, very otherwise, she she would she would she would have differentiated, right? Because you no, would, you'd, you'd assume that, but you see, this one you got to do the work for yourself, you know. And a math problem no, they don't give no. you all the answers. You got to figure. I'll kill out hundred. I'll kill hundred animals. I'll I'll fight. I'll fight a crocodile or like a uh, alligator. Whatever. Like that's fine. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't I'm I not gonna know. kill some t- fucking. Disney Pixar's Coco looking ass old woman. See, uh, you're assuming that's what you're gonna get. What if you got like, what if you got some guy that was in the act of about to like, like, like assault a woman or something? You know, like what if, what if he was about to snatch her up at night? You, he was putting her in a van, and then that, he that's who you there. get. And then you just, and then you're just like, ah, I think I'd rather kill hundred animals, and you just walk I, away. Well, I, well, the thing is well, that there's no, so no, no. Hold on, hold on. You're, now you're, hold on. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. You're, now you're making me seem like a bad person. Well, so, I, that's pretty absolutely. easy, Chris. That's not a hard. That's not a hard feat. <laughs> I, I listen. If that were to happen, I don't know the context. Exactly. You don't know the context. Of anything. <laughs> You know, you can contextually just get a bunch of animals that are pregnant with other animals, and you kill them, <laughs> and you're like, "Oh man, they weren't finished forming yet." So you killed technically, you killed three thousand animals. Like, no. no. What I'm if everyone probably... was a, every animal was a baby panda? Fuck. <laughs> I could probably do it. You... I, I oh, could. Wow. I th- pandas, pandas, pandas are so far removed from my daily life that like I don't. I don't really consider them at all, like ever. I, I don't I ever think, think about a panda unless I'm seeing one. You might get the adverse effect, actually, because you assume it's so removed that you'd be seeing this creature that you saw in person for the first time. You'd be like, oh, my God, I've never noticed just how cute they actually are, you know? Maybe. Hmm. You, you I don't, don't know. know. This is hard. 100 this is, I, baby pandas. Holy shit, man. That's uh, maybe 100 is maybe 100 is a lot. <laughs> if I look, 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 this is the thing. This is the thing. I know. I'm pretty sure right now. As me, I wouldn't enjoy murdering animals. But the thing is that once you murder a hundred of them, like what says what says you're just gonna not want to do that anymore? Like, oh man, I really enjoyed murdering these animals or these I'll, people. You know, I'll just say this: I could easily like I've had a lot of people like I've seen this online a lot. It's like vegans who are like, uh, if you couldn't kill a chicken, then you shouldn't eat a chicken. I was like, I could easily, I could wring millions of chickens' necks. I kill a chicken. I, I wouldn't be happy. I am about it, not. I, guess. I am not going to give up chickens. I'm not going to give up chicken as a food for just just the uncomfortability of maybe hearing a neck twist a little bit weird. Yeah. Like I'll do. I'll do it. That's why yes, I don't eat lamb. A, well, see, eh, that's where I draw the line. I can't do that. I can. I can operate machines if I had to. Yeah. You know, to like get. The, the job done but like personally breaking a chicken's neck or strangling them like that's where that's where I get a little bit too empathetic and I'm like oh my god I'm killing you know it, I, it's, I, I'll, I'll think, do it. I think the thing is that killing and murdering is like you're killing not to eat and sustain yourself you know you're not yeah, killing it with yeah. militia you know like I couldn't murder something but I could kill an animal if I needed to eat I wouldn't feel happy about it and I wouldn't be jumping for joy but I could do that I would oh, fold. I, I would fold a chicken's neck like laundry, dude. Like it would be so easy. It would be so easy just, for me to just. I feel like you say that, but then it's like, man. No, no, no. Go, this is go kick it with some is, chickens, man. No, this Ch- is the rare are kind of alien. Is, chickens are kind of alien. This is the no, rare no. occasion. This is the rare occasion where I, I, I think I genuinely because I because I, I would go to my grandparents' place in Puerto Rico and they would have chickens, and I I just always saw them as like you're a food. You're a food for me. You're food. I will eat you. Yeah, like I've never once, I've never thought of them as like a real animal because they're my such basic AI. My grandma broke a chicken's neck so easily it was hilarious. Huh? She just grabbed it and broke his neck and I was like, damn, that's wild. That was alive a few moments ago and then this old woman killed it quickly with technique. Mm-hmm. She just snapped good. his neck. She just ringed I'm it sorry. and snapped it. And I was I'm like, sorry, Whoa. vegans. I'm sorry for oh, listening yeah. to this. <laughs> I'm probably like I'm, a really violent I'm, conversation. I'm really sorry. Like, look, if you don't eat animals, more power to you. That's actually, that's actually really commendable, you know? Like, yeah. Good that is you. probably objectively, I'll, I'll extend an olive branch here and say that you are definitely better people, probably. Yeah. 
as far as like morality goes. Because like, like yeah, you're, you're right. But I agree. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. All right. That's a part of life. Animals eat other animals. That's just kind of how the universe. That's how the world works. That's how it's been working. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well. Well. well the Smaller argument isn't that. And, absorb, the argument. Get hold on. The, ar- the, ar- the argument isn't that it's necessarily bad to eat animals. The argument is that like we have we have ascended as a species to the point where we kind of really don't need to. I disagree. We, what do you mean? I, I don't mean. I don't. We can, but like, why? It, that's just that's just been our engineering for thousands of that, years. But like, that's why? what I'm saying. It's like we can. No other animal can do that. Like a bear can't like plant shit. You know, I guess, but I don't know. I just that whole argument is like we're built to eat and we're built for that. Like literally, it's a part of our physiology. Yeah, and I think we are for the built most to part, eat meat. That's right, that's why I, but, we have canine teeth. You know, right, like, right. But the 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 argument isn't that. I don't think the argument is that. I think the argument is more like we don't need to. It's not a necessity. Yeah, it's not a necessity, and also. You know, animals that do that. It's why vegans like animals, despite the fact that animals eat other animals, because they're actually doing it themselves, whereas we just sort of rely on these big kind of factories that keep their animals in, like, really terrible conditions to I, do it for I, us. I understand that. Like, for instance, I don't eat lamb. I refuse to eat lamb anymore, because I could never kill a lamb and eat it. I could I'll put Oreo a, scoop a lamb's face right off I the could, I could put a fucking <laughs> cannon in a, whore, a fucking cow's head. I could put oh a fucking God. I could I could put a size fifteen inside a fucking chicken's back. Like I could kill them. I could because I would, but I could not in my heart of hearts kill a lamb. That's interesting. I couldn't. That, that, that they're is interesting. They're so, Did you they're so a fucking lamb? nice. They're so fucking nice, bro. But so are fucking so are cows, man. Cows are nice, but cows are stupid. Lambs are nice and social. Like they do play cows, with you. Like know, they man. walk up to you and they so, play with you and they like so do cows, they nudge bro. You. Not the same way. Cows kind of see like, you and then keep grazing. I don't know if you've ever been in like any agriculture, man. Like cows, like get kind of crazy, like dogs, dude. It's pretty crazy if you see them not in captivity. Like I'm just saying. Where have you seen yeah. a wild cow before? What the fuck? There's wild cows, really? There's where cows didn't start off. Nothing started off being domesticated, man. I understand that, but like I've never seen like I don't. I can't even think of a cow being like a fucking. Well, let's just think about it like as animal, animals one. play. Animals play with each other. That's all I'm saying. Like they they socialize. Like there's certain animals like sloths and koalas that are just useless. But then you have <laughs> like you know you have a lot of animals that actually do fuck around. They play with each other. They're very social. They get depressed. It's kind of crazy. Like I I see why somebody can get really wrapped up in that stuff because if they start really looking into how animals live and how much like they are kind of like us just now with the higher form of consciousness you know what i'm saying yeah i, like, I so understand. Yeah, I, I get it I but i still I, don't I, give I, a fuck if somebody shotguns like a cow to the face to eat you know i don't I, it's fine um <laughs> no, it, you, you gotta I'd, do what you gotta I'd pref- do i'd prefer they would do it in a less brutal manner and i prefer sure. they'd have them in much better like holding you know but so here's the question if you if we got to a point where we could make meat with like stem cells or like we could clone meat reliably would you substitute yes. like would you move to absolutely. that form of meat um i absolutely I, would if i would from mm-hmm. all, from all of the science shit i've done when it comes to like bio and when it comes to like or like creating life like in or like sort of in like a cloning manner it always it just scares me it just gives me like a red flag i think it's because i was a christian growing up <laughs> that's why I fucking just, it just it immediately as soon as you like all oh, stem cells I'm like oh man that sounds kind of wonky, <laughs> but, but it's think... like I I to keep the animals like to keep the animals safe and to have them not be killed as much I guess I would but I'd be very le- like it'd take me a while before I would try it you know like I'd have yeah. to try yeah, it yeah and, totally like, it would, it would I'd need be, to be like, completely scared. I never try anything when it's first on the fucking market. So oh, I, yeah, I totally even, believe you. Or even, totally or even that. Like, not even first on the market. Like, I'd be scared to just try it. Like, even if, like, I knew people were using it for a while, I'd be like, I don't really know about this. Like, I don't know about eating this because, like, from what I was taught, this is kind of like, like, the idea is that, like, Who once, taught you that cloning, was that a cat, was that a Christian lesson that cloning food is bad? Not like, cloning, but, like, the idea of cloning has always been, <laughs> wrote, scientifically, it's always been, like, science fiction-wise. It's always been, like, oh, clones are going to take over the world. Or, oh, it's always, like, some sort of weird, like stigma that's attached to cloning you know but it's a slab of meat 
I know I understand that and I get you, but there's, there's a bunch of bad stigmas attached to these things still. So it still make me uncomfortable to try it. You know? I I would try it. It would be a while probably before I fully, in, like, I'd probably be going back and forth a lot. Like I'd probably be like, okay, I'll I'll get the the clone chicken and then I'll have some, you know, some real chicken. And but then the I'll thing be about like, cloning, there's, I'll there's have to, even now have there's to, like, no problems. I'll have to like really measure like back and forth like how I feel about it, and then eventually I'll, I'll I'm sure I'd. Like, yeah, even now, yeah. like we we I would just, like we eat chicken all the time. We probably eating so much clone fucking chicken in our days. I would and we like, act like, we like don't, I would love like we have. I would love, I would love to be able to just sort of not eat any meat, morally speaking. But I have no so like I I love chicken so much that I think genuinely if chickens vanished, I think I I would have so much less of a reason to live. Honestly, I'd be depressed definitely. <laughs> I would love Yo, to. That's not. that's crazy. I, I, mean, I love I chicken. Chicken so, dude, you don't even under, dog dog. It's such I mean, a versatile. I get it. I get it. It's I, so I see, good. I see. I see. Your, I see your color, man. I get it, bro. You know <laughs> yeah. damn well you love chicken too. Don't even act like you don't. <laughs> well, look, 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 look. okay. I do love chicken. However, um, I I was actually just asked steak. the other day. No, no, no. I don't fucking. I don't even fuck with steak really. Um, maybe I'll have a burger every once in a while, but uh, I could survive off a of bean and cheese burrito, like legit. It's my favorite oh, yeah, thing on this planet. It's my favorite thing. Of it. It's just you you make beans correctly. You throw in some cheese in there, wrap it in a nice fucking tortilla with it just a little bit crispy. It's my favorite thing on the planet. It, that's I could live off of that. No one, joke. Want to hear something crazy? Want to hear something crazy that people are gonna hate me for? I love chicken so much. Like I adore chicken, but you know I think I like rice more than chicken. Do you, rice. Like, I love rice. Like rice with actually, like, like I'm infatuated. Like plain just period. Rice? Like like brown rice, white rice, yellow rice, red rice. Just like rice in general. I fucking just, love just it. Plain rice with rice? some. What about with some, some spice on it or just like like you saying? it could it could be like you wait, Chris. You know about this. They don't have Chinese restaurants like this in California. But you know when you go to like a Chinese restaurant in like the Bronx, they just give you a carton of rice. Yeah, I love that shit. That shit would it's make me good. so happy because it's, it's just good. good. It's, it's yeah, it's, yeah, but it's not. I don't, I, I, so, I would never choose rice over chicken. Like, but the, but the, the thing is that I have I love like, chicken and rice. Like the thing yeah. is that like I also have like I love very flavorful food, but I also have this taste for bland things sometimes too, which is weird. So like a palate cleanse it. It's like oh, this is gonna oh, no, take me back. This is gonna take me back to like to like zero. Then I can enjoy how good it tastes. That's why I love rice so much. I can just eat plain rice all the time. Yeah, I understand. I understand that because I used to months. like the fucking. I used to like the uh, fucking communion wafers that they would give me in ch- at church and shit. That's right. That's fucking psycho. You're that's fucking in, that's insane. insane. No, they're just it's the same principle. It's it's just bland. Actually, oh yeah, yeah, that's that's true. That's true. <laughs> I understand I'm being ignorant right now, but like, I got just yeah. that's insane. It, like sure, you like back to those you like the body of touched. Christ, you fucking maniac, you monster. Yeah, what is that? It's Easter. We're recording on Easter. What is with the people wanting to eat Jesus and drink his blood? What is that? I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I, man. I didn't get it when I was a kid. Either. I'm not Catholic, so I don't fucking. I'm not a maniac. I mean, I'm not Catholic. I mean, Baptists do the same shit too. They they, they want you to. They would instead of giving you a wafer, they would give you just a fucking regular cracker. Yeah, but you same still thing get the, you still get the wine or the cranberry. Same juice, SDA whichever. thing. You do the same freaking crazy stuff. I don't know, man. I haven't been Christian in like fucking ten years. I don't know, man. I yeah. It's, you know. I only went to church because after church, people would bring, like, baked food. goods. They'd bring food. food. Dog. At my church, after after service, they would have this lunch, and the lunch would be divine, bro. Yeah. That was honestly... <laughs> it would be insane, because it'd be a bunch of Caribbean people, because 70 events are mostly Caribbeans and, like, yeah. old white people. Holy so they'd, shit. So they'd bust out, like, the fucking, like, macaroni and cheese, fucking oxtail, baked chicken, stewed curry chicken. I'm just like, yo, this is so yeah, good, that man. Shit was, that shit was cool. That's probably the <laughs> only thing that I miss about church. <laughs> yeah. Those I would, uh, in the morning, bro. I had to go in the morning, like, early as fuck, because, I don't know, I hated visiting my grandma because she would make us be at church all fucking day. That's black Sunday. people church, man. Yeah. All and day. And the thing is, though, all day the things. only thing to look forward to was... uh. <laughs> was uh, these biscuits? I don't know if you've ever had layered biscuits. They're like flaky, and you can oh, peel yes. them. They're so fucking ridiculously good. And um, that that was where I discovered those. And I was like, uh, yeah, church is pretty cool at this part. And then <laughs> the rest of it, I'd be so uh, trying to keep myself awake. But then when the pastor would give his like sermon at the end, 
I loved it because you go to a Baptist church, man. That shit is the most. My friends would beg me when I got older. They're like, please take me. And I was like, no, dude, because you guys won't be able to hold in the laughter. Like, I can't. Like, I can hold it in because I'm used to it. But these motherfuckers are just like, and the Lord says, ah, and we going to go to the promised that shit land. Is so, that shit is God. so insane, bro. And, and, and then the organs wailing. Wail. Wait, and then the fuck it, it's crazy. And then they start doing like circle pit shit, dude. It turns into a punk show. It's the craziest it does, shit it ever. Do, dude, it's church. <laughs> dude, black people church is a different breed, bro. It's so crazy. I love even, it. Even even Hispanic church. Hispanic church is, is a different is a different thing too, bro. Yeah. I've, I've went been to, to one. I've went to some Latin freaking um I went to some Latino freaking churches in um in New York City. And that shit gets wild too. But hmm. black people church is something, something. It's absurd. unrivaled. I've it's I've unrivaled. seen I've seen some of the truly best singers I've ever seen in my life at those churches, like truly oh. people that can sing. On my aunt, my aunt can sing like a fucking angel. It's insane. Some of the people that play the instruments there, it's just like these people are truly talented. They're insanely talented. It sucks that they're and then they stuck just do it here. For the church. <laughs> it sucks that they're just stuck here. Yeah, the church I went to was just like not at all anything like that. It was it was exactly like how you stereotypically imagine a church. It was just like some guy and he'd be like he would he would talk as if he it was just the beginning parts of the Halo theme all the time. Dude, I always wanted to experience that shit. It's it was not it's not fun. And all that weird I've always Oh man! Like I've always wanted to experience that shit. It seems so cultish. It, I remember it. it was like uh, it was just like everything would end with like amen, amen, amen. It was like <laughs> what the great. fuck is happening? It's so scary. It's definitely like, some uh, cult shit, bro. Like I've been to Catholic church before. That shit is sketchy. It's different. It, it it's weird because it was like I went to a Catholic church, but even f- like my Catholic church was like it was it was never one of those like. It wasn't like a Jesus camp, you know, something that you would see on like a, uh, you wouldn't find a viral video of that church saying some egregious shit. It was really just the most basic, tame ass, liberal it was just Catholicism church. you've ever seen. But it was also a Catholic church, so everybody would just do the Catholic church thing. And it was just so weird because it was all this culty, it was all this culty imagery and culty like aesthetics, but like every sermon was just... Hey, just like treat people nice and stuff. <laughs> it was just like what? It was so weird. I've uh okay, I just remember this. Uh so when I was in seventh grade, my um these people that were kind of like extended family, I would go to their church in uh San Gabriel Valley, and it was just a cavalry chapel, the whitest shit ever. Uh, there was a guy that, no joke, and I get why they made Ned Flanders look like that, because there's a guy like that at every church, at those Absolutely. churches. And so, yeah, he was just, the, he had the, the same haircut, the glasses, the mustache, and I'm like, what is, what is, it's fucking Flanders. And this guy was the biggest Puritan ever. He was even, um we, we'd, we'd do these church retreats. We'd go up to the to one of the mountains, like Idlewild or some shit. And that was the only reason why I wanted to go, because there was some fucking hot girls. They'd be in their bunk, and then we'd be all in the snow, and I'm like, what's up? And uh, But the, the, the songs and that guy, he was, like, telling stories about this, and God was talking to him and doing this, and, like, like, a, like, a, like, like he's completely psychotic. And then, then he ended up with the story saying that, yeah, he stopped, like, jerking off, and he just doesn't do it anymore. And I was like, what? What? And, and it, I was like, what, what is, where's he going? And he was like trying to like convince people like, yeah, don't jerk off. And God, listen to God when he talks to you and shit. And I'm like, this is like, if you're not enthralled in it, it's the most insane ramblings ever. And it's uh, wild, dude. The music was it's really fucking wild. awful, dude. Like, open my eyes to my heart, Lord. You know? Oh open my God. It was like Christian pop. Heart. It was so. I was like, there was one that actually kind of it kind of slapped a little bit. It was like, our God is an awesome God. He that, reigns. That song. That song is fire. Yeah, that that sounds was like a, <laughs> like sounds like a musical. It was pretty. That one was pretty bombastic, man. That that one track, and uh, they brought in a fucking uh, a rap a uh, Christian rap group called Eternal Tribe. And I still have the cassette. Uh, I still have it. It's this purple cassette. Oh, that's so funny. It's fucking great, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Make yourself a crucifix tape. 
get get get. Uh, I actually no, I'm not gonna do anything. Um, I'm gonna try to whip it out though. Uh, we we should all guys. Let's let's fucking start a church. Let's do this. No, no thank you. No thank you. I don't need worship. Let's start a Christian rock band. I don't need worship. I don't want that. I'm I'm down. No thank you. Actually, we should do it. I would not. I'm fucking I don't want, I don't, down. I don't deserve worship <laughs> because once. Once I know people are praying to me, I will feel it and I will ascend. I will ascend far beyond what I am now into something that is terrifying. Some okay, so some Russian name that I cannot read for the life of me. I'm I, I really I cannot stress enough how difficult this thing is to even look at. Uh so apologies if this is your name, but I <laughs> this is inconceivable what I'm looking at. Uh what is up, my snark cannoneers? This question is for Sweeney. Okay, what's up? I was, for many years, in love with the Kingdom Hearts franchise, but I had oh, mixed no. feelings for the third one. I still appreciate the experience it has offered me, and since I've heard you've been into it in the past, what was it that made you like the game? Do you still, if ever, have any sentimental connection with it? Okay, well, where do I start? Um, <laughs> shit. Well, I initially loved Kingdom Hearts because um, I was a fan of Disney growing up, uh, like most people on the planet were. I really enjoyed um, the implement of like the little bit more edginess of like having the Final Fantasy characters in there. That didn't strike you as like horrifying and like gross. Not really, because even the way they animated the, the Disney characters, they were a little more geared towards the art style of the Final Fantasy characters. But I no, lo- I hate. I currently I can't play a, a Kingdom Hearts game at all. It hurts me. Because of now that I've gotten older and I've played many like actually good like well written games with like good stakes and like really good characters, those games just don't hold up at all to me anymore, which really sucks. I still am sentimental. Like I love Riku. He's like one of my favorite characters. He goes through the whole being a bad guy to good guy and like sacrifice for his friends. Like that's a really cool character. I love Roxas because he had like a good story. But like I couldn't play those games ever again. Like I never. I always hated I always hated them. Like I, I think <laughs> But you hate Indian that's weebish though. I well, it's it was a combination of two things that I didn't really care that much about at the time, which were Disney and anime. Like I could gear, I could give less of a shit if it wasn't Dragon Ball, I wasn't watching it. But yeah, like I, I just I couldn't get over it. It, it. it reminded me of like, do you guys remember the Jimmy Timmy Power Hour? At all? Oh shit! Who doesn't? They had this thing where they they cross over. They did a crossover with Jimmy Neutron and the Fairly Odd Parents. And oh, that's right, that's right. And they Timmy. <laughs> It was jarring and scary. It Timmy and gross, Jimmy's yeah. world looked fucking like a drug addict. He like he was just on some heroin, bro. He looked <laughs> like he looked like he spat meth, bro. He looked like a fucking trailer park kid that got mutated into a, a fucking meth addict. Like it was just something vile. So just a trailer park kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. <laughs> the compound. No, man. I'm sorry if anybody was in a trailer park. I, I, I think. <laughs> No, man, I don't know. I just couldn't do it. Like, it was just a combination of two things that I didn't care about at all. But also, just the first time I played Kingdom Hearts, a friend of mine was, like, trying to show it to me. He was like, hey, play Kingdom Hearts. I mean, it's so cool. It's so neat. And I was like, okay. And he hands me the controller. It's his first time playing Kingdom Hearts 2. This is his first time going through it, and he wants me to experience what he's experiencing. He hands me the controller, and immediately, and remember, he doesn't know this because this is his first time going through it. Immediately, it goes to this Little Mermaid level. Oh, and, no. Oh, how neat. Little Mermaid. That's kind of cool, I guess, even though I'm, like, you know, an eight-year-old boy, and I don't really care that much about the Little Mermaid at all. It was the worst thing I've ever seen. And I think, actually, like, doing some research on it, it's probably, like, the, the universally, like, it's considered the worst part of those that series, right? Yeah, like it's the terrible. Fucking, the Little Mermaid level, it's where it's just horrible. this horrible stock song that they got some fucking dude in his in his trash can home to write oh my god <laughs> like it doesn't sound like a disney song at all it sounds very much like like what a child would write if he was trying to write a disney song it was not and good. i had to sit through this horrible musical number and i was like dude this is you're playing this you're playing this right now halo 2 is out currently and you're playing this are you stupid are you daft <laughs> and that just ruined it forever for me there's fair no enough. going back from that. Shit happens, bro. Fair enough. It fair would enough. be like what's a, what's Shit a similar happens. like what's the worst what is the worst part of your favorite or like one of your favorite games? That would be like the worst point for anybody to the worst point for anybody to jump in to try to convince them that it's good. 
Um, definitely Ganon's castle in Breath of the Wild. Oh, really? That shit is not fun. It's only fun when you're good at the game. If you just end up there in the beginning, you're like, what? why am I getting shot by these laser statues? And I'm falling off, and now I'm in the water, and I'm drowning. It's, it's yeah. a lot going on there. It's like, it's like being plopped into the middle of Death Stranding <laughs> and being like, just do it. And it's like, what? Do what? Do yeah, what? I, get it. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it makes sense. I get it. I actually was just, uh, I just played uh, Gears 5 for the first time because it was free on Steam. And the second act, I was so angry because when you're playing Gears, pretty much all you want is a little bit of dialect and then shoot everything. And yeah. uh, the first act is great. I was like having a great time. And the second one is, all right, fucking, you're in this giant icy fucking place. Now go, oh, yeah. never seen that part. go ski everywhere. And I was like, what the fuck is this? It turned into like just like some... Lost it it kind of reminded me of, yeah, and it reminded me of, like, I'm. this isn't the game that I want to play. Like, I wouldn't have mm-hmm. mind doing that for Mass Effect, for example. Oh, I need to go across here and collect stuff and do all this shit. That's cool. But for, for Gears, I was, I was fucking angry. The entire second act, I was so angry. I was like, I'm barely doing anything. I'm barely killing stuff. So... You know, yeah, that. it's weird because the the combat encounters in that game are great. Like I would argue, mm-hmm. the first act, the first and last act are like really, they're, really good. They're really good. They're really good. Um, and I didn't mind the open world stuff as much, but I definitely did feel like this doesn't need to be here. Um, I enjoyed it fine enough, like going to different places and like shooting people up and trying to like farm for like uh, upgrades and shit. Like yeah, I actually didn't yeah. mind that. That it was the right amount of complexity mixed with like the right amount of simplicity. That was like okay, this is kind of I, it's getting my brain kind of in like the Borderlandsy kind of like check things off a list kind of. Uh, I'd imagine motion. that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, it's not it's not bad, but it's it's not gears. You know, yeah, I, th- like I think yeah, I th- you're right, you're right. I think my issue was that I was just trying to like blaze through the game, but I can't since there's yeah, all this yeah. stuff to do. I was like, I it's, gotta, it's I gotta jarring. get this shit. It's yeah. jarring if like, did you look up anything about Gears Five before you? Uh, no. Got it? No. That's yeah, that makes yeah, because I was I was reading up on it and I was like, oh, there were some open world levels, and I was like, oh, okay, well, that's that's a little weird. So I was like a little bit more prepared for it, so it didn't bother me as much. But like it, it definitely did feel like one of those things where it's like if they make a sixth one, and I think they they probably should. Yeah, they, uh, they have to. <laughs> yeah. Cause there's honestly those games are uh, they're still good games. Like, they're still honestly. good. Yeah. Um but it's jarring yeah, that there's I five would, of them though. That's really jarring that there's five. I, I, would, like I mean, there's like 18 Final Fantasy. There's fantasies. technically six because uh, they had uh, Gizward Judgment. But every uh, Final Fantasy game one. is a different story, though. <laughs> like, it's, a, it's an objectively different story. This is the yeah. same peoples for the most part. What the fuck are they going to do? So uh, what are they going to do with this one, though? Because they did that stupid bullshit where you have a choice at the end to control. Oh, like, yeah. So I was like, what the fuck? What's going to be canon? And, and, and in my opinion, I I think I know what's going to be canon just because the reaction was kind of weird. Gears Five is is great, honestly. It's really I, I sad, think it, apparently. If it's free, right it's now, it's free on, on Steam? Steam right now. Yeah, that is weekend. insane. That is insane. Oh, by the time it's you're oh probably yeah, this, it's, it's not yeah. yeah yeah. So but uh, is, yeah. but I think you get it through Game Pass anyway. Yeah, if, yeah, that's true. You have if, if you, you have, have Ultimate Game, Game Pass. Yeah, yeah. I would a hundred percent recommend playing that game. That game's really good. Uh, I know we just sort of spoiled it. Maybe I'll I'll censor some stuff. Maybe uh, I mean game. yeah yeah that's true. But uh, it's it's actually pretty good. good I game. had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun playing it. I'm playing it on the, the hardest setting right now. Just well, it's probably gonna disappear in in a few hours. But it's uh, they don't have Iron Man the the Iron Man anymore, where you just die and then you you're fucked. They don't have that. Oh anymore. yeah, I, w- I want to try it, but they don't have it. At least they, in, at least on this version, they don't. They, they don't have, have that in Doom, which is like I'm never gonna do that. <laughs> That's just so crazy. If you if you die, you start over. You literally game over. Like, like actually start the game over again. Like you gotta start yes. from the beginning. That's yes. I dude. That shit. It teaches you to get really good at the game, but also fuck that. I would. Yeah, it's, lose it's my not worth shit. it to me. I would it's not lose worth. My I like mind. it. I like it as an option. That's like it's like uh, the Halo games had like legendary all skulls on, where you just you put all the difficulty modifiers on, in addition to legendary, and that would make mythic difficulty, and it was just like. Beyond stupid. Imagine you're playing a fighting game, like an arcade fighter, and you lose a match, and you got to start from the beginning. That'd be yeah, horrible. I would, that's the ultimate rage quit. That'd be uh, horrible. Would the- I'd be like, what the fuck do you mean? And I would try <laughs> it one ever- more time, and I'd be like, I can get past that part. And then eventually I would just end up losing my shit and never playing it again. 
Dude, there was one game that they uh, – Street Fighter Alpha 3 was Alpha? ported. It seemed like when they when it was on PlayStation – I feel like it was. Just, it felt like an arcade port because it was so hard for the last two levels. It it, it didn't make sense because I, I I can whoop I can whoop Alpha two Alpha any other any other one. It didn't matter. But Alpha three for some reason, you fight the the ninth person and then you fight Bison, and I can only imagine if you if you only had one shot, I feel like almost nobody would beat it because you know the AI can whoop you at any given moment if it wants to. Like yeah, if, if it wants bullshit. to, it it can block everything and and counter everything, and yeah. that was the we might have even talked about because we might have talked about rage quitting. That was the 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 game that I rage quitted multiple times because of how much bullshit Bison was. It was uh, Bison stupid. Bison stupid in every game he's in. He's just the f- <laughs> fucking worst. I don't know why they made him a like a fat asshole in the Alpha series though. He, he speaking just, like, of uh, got really fat. <laughs> speaking of video games, we got a final question here. Gotcha, oh, sweet. let's hear it. Caleb Rocco wrote in, "Hey, darty cunts, Ew. was there was there or uh, I'll correct this. Were there any games you found difficult as a kid slash young adult, but then next time playing through it as an adult, it was absolutely piss easy? Also high from Western Australia. You know, uh, a game was really hard as a kid that I can play as an adult now, like a fucking wizard, uh, Sunshine." What? Mario Sunshine oh, Mario was Sunshine? really hard for me when I was little. Now I can play that game in my sleep probably. But when I was Mario little, Sunshine so has Mario Sunshine has a part that is still impossible. It was really There's like cool. a water slide part that's like really fucking Every slide in any Nintendo game is stupid. Just yeah, make them true. wrong. <laughs> that <laughs> one's egregious though. I I think um I've kind of found the opposite honestly. Same, same. Like there are games that like I beat as a kid, like destroyed. And I don't know how the fuck I did it. The Mega Man games like are that for me. 100% agree. Every Mega like, Man I, game I, was so easy when I was little. I finished... I remember I finished uh, Ninja Gaiden on my NES. I have the file. All right, I had the file before my fucking NES exploded. And I was like, what? It, I guess it was like the only game that I had. Because I must have just played it incessantly. And I can tell you right now, there's no way in hell I'm doing that again. Like, I'm just not going to do it. I don't even remember. I don't even have the memory of doing it, and it still seems like just egregiously ridiculous to do it again. Those games are hard, man. They're yeah. stupid They're hard. hard. Old video games were just brutal, man. They were just built to hurt yeah. your feelings. Yeah, I, I designed that. that way for fucking arcades, dude. Fucking Commando, Mega Man Two, um, Contra, games like that. Mega Man. Um, I had Mega Man. The first Mega Man game I had was a uh, Mega Man Four. Unfortunately, I didn't get to. Um, Two is and a then, bitch, uh, man. Dude, I brutal. Yeah, yeah, I'm. Yeah, it is. And but those games, I would whoop their asses. And I don't even even Mario games. I remember having just a blast playing like Super Mario Three, Mario Two, any of those. And then when I tried playing them recently, like say maybe the past couple of years or something, I just keep falling in fucking holes. Like I just keep. Dude, fucking I don't up. understand. Like, I don't understand. I had the technique. I, I had it like, oh, I could, I can land on the edge of this this platform and be fine. I can't do that shit anymore. I'm like, I should be better now. Yeah, my brain's it's, so it's much wild. bigger. I am definitely worse at Halo now than I used to be, and that breaks my fucking heart. That just shatters me. That's starting to happen with me in Smash. I'm starting to hit my decline. I have to play yeah, a I, lot more. To I used be to good fucking used to be. sweep, dude. I still sweep, but it's like it's definitely not. Like, I can feel it. Like, I used to get perfections kind of regularly. Like, not like super, like, not like every week or anything, but it was at least like a couple times a year I would get a perfection. And now it's like, I can't even remember the last time. That's why, like, actually, we were playing Destiny recently, weren't we? Mm-hmm. And, like, I almost, I almost didn't die the entire game. And I died once, and it ruined my fucking day. Like, I was in such a bad mood after that because I was like, that was, that was going to be my first perfection in fucking years. I don't know how people do that. Sucks. I don't know how you. Do, I don't know how you play a fighting game, and like a fighting or a shooter, and you don't get hit or die. Like that's insane. I, that's I mean, crazy. it used to be. It used to be pretty. I've used to be pretty. Achievable. I've seen people get perfections in fighting games, and I'm like, how did you get perfect rounds? Like flawless victories. That's imp- yeah. Entirely. That's like, impressive. How did you do that? He didn't hit you that's once. Impressive. You just didn't. You, you weren't just pressing buttons one time and got hit. That's insane. That's, that's more impressive to me than uh, not dying because, like, to, to not get hit at all is insane. 
that that is it, it's it's an insane feat that something I'll, I'd never be able to achieve when I was younger though and this is the theory that I have of having more time to sink since you didn't have to worry about adulting you had more your brain could pay more attention to this shit and you didn't have to worry about anything and it wasn't really drifting off because I remember I got heavily into Tekken and like Tekken 3 for example and then um mm-hmm. I kind of skipped 4 but um I would go to the practice and I would put it on the hardest setting and I would practice for hours and and then uh, I would also there was a, a mode you can put it on to where it would block everything so then I would have to figure out how to not like break its block at, like say if I could somehow make it just slip up a little bit and doing that really helped me beat people because I was able to just find these little things, little frame mm-hmm. differences. I was actually really paying attention to this shit. I don't give a fuck about that stuff anymore. So now I'm so bad. If I go online and, like, say when I first started playing MK11, like, uh, what was it? When did that, sh- that shit come out in 2019 or 2018? I don't even 2019, remember. 2019, I think. Um, but when I started, yeah, yeah, the early 2019. I started playing that shit, and I was streaming it. And I'm like, how am I getting... Some people were whooping me so bad, I just don't understand. I'm like, I feel like I'm doing the blocking or whatever, and it's just not working. Like, I feel like That's my brain I felt is about deteriorating. Smash, man. <laughs> I feel that about Smash. I played Smash yesterday. I, used to, I, was, I was really good at that game once upon a time. I took, like, two months off, and I played online. Now, there was definitely a fuck ton of lag. But I just wasn't playing right. And I was like, this feels disgusting. Like, I'm better than this. Like, I, I feel like I was watching myself play. And I was just like, you're doing terrible, dude. Like, what? This isn't you. You're a, go- you're a golden god. Yeah, it's <laughs> really golden god. It's, it's really frustrating. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely infuriating. Um, every time a new Halo game comes out, I, now I'm, I just think about, like, damn, will I, will I be good at it? Like, if I'm not good at it, that, that sucks. I've been consistently good at all of them, at least. Yeah, you have. So, like... So, like, when something, it, but it's always the possibility of just, like, oh, maybe it just won't carry this time. And that fucking scares me. That's a, that's a dark thought. Yeah. I kind of just gave up, to be honest. Like, if I, I'm not good I, at a I Street just, Fighter game or a Smash Bros. game, I'll kill myself. I'd lose my I would, I would give up, but I'm, like, really competitive as far as, like, FPS goes. Like, yeah. it's just, like, the one thing where it's, like, I can compete here and it's, it's cool. Um, I don't know. Like, I'm good at this. Yeah. I just feel I just feel good when I like be like say uh, I never I kind of forgot that I never finished uh, Sekiro, Mm -hmm. so I was like, oh yeah, I I should do that. And and so when that's complete, that's when I I I just feel good about that because those are those things that are fucking ridiculous. The the fucking from software, those games are so stupid. They're so dumb. They're insidious. (laughs) They design them. They're 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 built to hurt you. Designed to piss you off. Oh yeah, absolutely. but once you're done, though, you're like, oh, fuck yeah. Like, I, that shit was, I can't believe I beat that. Like, I like that feeling. That That's pretty good. But, uh, it's, it's, but I can't get that satisfaction off of a uh, multiplayer because I just, what, what usually happens to me is usually there's somebody that, like, I want to best. And then you can, you know, be in the same lobby, but then sometimes you can just lose them immediately and never see them again. Like, say, if you're playing against some people, like, if you're doing some matches or whatever, they might just leave or whatever the case is. And I'm like, no, I want to, like, I want to overcome this person that's really been killing me. Or, you know what I'm saying? It, it gets me really annoyed that I, a lot of times I can't just completely have uh, vengeance. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I hate that. Uh, I hate people back out of lobbies. In, that shit blows my that's, mind, man. That's in uh, a lot of single-player games, too, with, like, leaderboards and stuff. Like, oh. I always, like... I always pay attention to that shit. Like with Beat Saber, I get fucking annoyed if I see somebody that I know above me, and I'm like, ah, oh, fuck off. <laughs> like, if I'm pl- like if I'm playing you in Smash and you beat me because of some bullshit, like oh I lag and I can't get my recovery off, and you leave the thing, I'm like, yo, you're 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 a bitch. You're a bitch. Come back and fight me. <laughs> come to come to my house and fight me. Come to my house on my couch and fight me. How about that? Play me right, here. So here's the come deal. to my house and fight me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but I'm also overly competitive. I get way too heated when I play video games. Look at look at uh, I I haven't played I just want to say this um I haven't played Smash in 64 um so I'm 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 going to I am going to sink 100 hours into uh into this new one. I'm going to buy the Switch again. I'm gonna, I'm going to I'm going to sink like all this ridiculous hours and I'm going to look up like the best shit and I'm going to compete with you. I want to see if I can whoop your ass and just 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 force you to or drive you insane. I think that would be now look, a, look, a really good thing. I am good at Smash Bros on a casual level. 
I'm not good on the. I'm not competitively good. I'm good on the oh. casual. I know how to play the game. But if you still beat me after never playing a series, I would be upset because Chris beats me sometimes, <laughs> and I get fucking <laughs> furious. I get so angry. Most because he plays that snake, and that shit makes me angry. Snake doesn't belong there. But that's a different argument for a different day. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's uh, that's all the questions we had. So, uh, we're at about an hour and fifty minutes, so I think now's a good time to wrap things up. Wrap it up. Uh, thanks, everybody, uh, for listening. If you like what you heard today, consider supporting us on patreon.com slash the snark tank. Uh, $1 a month gets you early access. $5 gets you a question read right on the show. And $10 gets you a producer credit. Uh, and your name dyslexically read at the end of the show. Uh, although we will be changing that in the next, uh, the, next ep- the next week or two, where $10 will give you access to a Discord and a Discord for the, for the podcast. And I think $15 will get the name read right at the end of the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, just to keep things simple, and yeah, yeah so let's uh, let's do that now. Double O Dolphin, two toned, t posing toddlers, tongue punching Sweeney's filthy fart box forcefully. Good Lord, Jesus Christ! Uh, a level one cleric, Aaron Alvarez, uh, Ackman, uh, Ac- Acid Bath, Adrian Royal, Ario, Aetherian, Afterlife, Jeffrey Epstein, Alex Jones, all nineteen COVIDs. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. All hands on dick, aloof, the Chromos. Aloof, the chromosomally endowed ransom. Arsenic and gleeful. Aurora Unit 117. Ots King, badly brave. Baron von Thundercock, Negromancer of Hammerfell. Blaskart. Beals above the gimp. Ben Douglas. BK Dino. Black Nipple Gang. BLT inflicted with Frenzy Virus 19. Brandon Peavy. Bud Dwyer gave it his best shot. Good Christ. Cakes and Foxy PH. Carson Jones. Cataclysmic Cunt. Catnips. Chad. Chief Cruin. Had the window open while I was saying all that shit. Chris, please eat something. We're all worried. Christopher Midling, Colonel Collin, the colon collapsing kingpin, Cooper Lorraine, Crescent Slice, Cyborg, Damian Watson, Daniel Ortiz, Dankhouse, David Delaney, Decon, Decato, Dodadod, Donald Trump, Dragazoreth, otherwise known as Cunt, Drew Hogg, Dylan Broadbent, Edward Thibodeau, El- Elazar Nunez, Eric Pfeiffer, Fake Flynn, Fat Houdini, Fat McLarge Huge, FDR's Wheelchair, Felix Anderson, Female Sonic Admirer, Fiajar Tandri Gutormson, Fuck Me, Fuhei, Fuck You Stevie Wonder, We All Know Your Eyes Work, Garrett Jones, Gassy Gastly, God Went AFK, Gucci Gang My Gooch Still Gangrenous, Guillermo Ojeda Jr., Supposed to- I can't, I can't with this. Heartless Wretch, Harvey Lee Boswald, Hugger Derek, Ian Sell. If Smaug was black, he'd be Tom Sweeney, Indoxicated, Jabobo, Jacob, Jacob Arnston, Jake Parsons, Jefferson Steelflex, Jeremiah D. McRoberts, Jose Horach, Josh Kirby, Joshua Millard, Karsten Roth, King of Haphazard, King of Salt, L- Leon and Susan Five Ever, Levante Pustai, Lewis Williamson, Liam Birch, Limp Biscuit think they're black, but they're just gay, Luca Bella, Luke Jakovic, Matt Fitzsimmons, Merrick Freechot, Mike Gates, Mike Petit, Mitchell Blackwood, Moto Zealot, Mr. H.R. Broski, Negroid, Nibble a Temple, Oliver Troxel, Papa John, Polio Pussy Got Me Disabled, PP Extendus, Progerian Rectal Homicide, Richter 86, Roshanis, Rusticity, Rusty Cunts, Ryan, uh, Ryan Pre- 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 Ryan Preciado, Ryan Preciado, gracias, uh, Samuel Lathrop, Sentient Condom, Sergeant Sweaty Sack, good god, Sherlock 93, Shih Tzu Posting, Sideshow Bob's Body Double, Some Sweeney Raygun, uh, ba, 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 Stephen Hawking's unrestrained libido, Sunny Chance, Sweeney Tom, the ethnic barber of Eat Street, Sweeney's magic weenie, Sweeney the kawaii waifu, Steed Strip Kema, Taeon, Tarkon the Hippodrake, Tharja IBW, the boneless one, the cosmic hippie, the dreamer in his shadow, the progerian hunter, the invisible skeptic, the job is dick, Toby Shootman, Tom Sweeney's Wakandan sex slave, Theodomus Prime, Triple Question Mark, Troy, Umberman, Very Good, well Mrs. Lincoln, other than that, how did you enjoy the play? Oh my god. Wesley Hill, White Tom Sweeney, Winnie, Yasleen Clemens. Yummy, 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 come inside my tummy. Good Christ almighty, what is wrong with you people? Zach Siegworth and Zachary Daniel Bradshaw. Yeah, and that was that. That was all the names. Wow, we did that so well. It's almost like uh, I did it uh, off screen and edited it into the podcast. That's wild. Oh, before, we get, before we get out of here, I want to let everybody know I am actually uh, taking a venture into streaming now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so Sweeney, Sweeney is streaming. Yes, uh, I do what's that. Your, it's Tom Sweeney, 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 twelve seven eight. Yeah, he put he put on on he, what? What are you streaming on, on, on Twitch? On Twitch now. Thank you. It's wait. So it's what is it? Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, so what is it? Tom Sweeney twelve seven eight on Twitch. You know, stop by, yeah. hang out with your boy. I'll be doing it every other day. You know, just come, you know what's, come hang Derek, out with me. I, I want to ask you this, Derek, what, I, because that? it's it frustrates me, and I wonder if it frustrates you. He very clearly has an opportunity to 
pick a name that doesn't have numbers in it, and yet he chooses. <laughs> That's I like what deliberately. I, I like the numbers. I, <laughs> I like the numbers. Dude, dude, dude I, I gave him, I, I made him a, a fucking Twitter. Like the first Twitter I made him, it was Tom Sweeney Vivo. And it looked, it looked great. It looked like super official. And then all of a sudden he changed it to, to what is it? Super Sween 12. <laughs> it's just, it's he like having. such an idiot. It it's would be madness. Like, I, like, I like the fact that it's insane. I like how it's kooky. It's no, so it's, bad it, for branding, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're just going to fail miserably. Like all, everything you do, you will fail if Fuck you have you. a name like that. I'm just <laughs> telling you. I, I'm just, I gave you, I, listen, I helped you. It's your choice to dismantle all the help that I've given you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so uh, that's a thing. Check out his fucking Twitch account, which, what is it again? 1278? Tom Sweeney 1278. Jesus Christ. I'm um, going to change it as soon as I can. I just can't right now. <laughs> they won't let me. They won't let me. They won't let me. They won't let me change it. So I can't yeah, change it. No, they it. don't. They don't let you change it. But, um, so, yeah, so that's happening. Uh, I have some merch samples headed over, uh, headed over my way. Uh, so there will be there there will be merch soon as long as as long as these prints come out okay, um, so that's a thing that you can look forward to. Mm-hmm. I think what we'll do is um, people who pay ten dollars and up also will just put those designs on the Patreon in, in case you know money's tight you know whatever like you can have just the designs and you can print them on shirts if if you, if you want as long as you're still supporting us you still get access to that shit. Gotcha. For I sure. think that's kind of a I think that's kind of a fun idea. That's fair. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, and it's fair because those people are paying obviously. So yeah, so the merch is coming soon. Uh, shipping might be a little bit weird with uh, you know the world collapsing, everything going wonky. Uh, so just yeah. keep that in mind. Uh, all, probably not the best time to start merch, but like whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fuck it. So yeah, that's that's gonna happen, and uh, yeah. Once again, that's uh, patreon.com slash the snark tank for more of this, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.